Hello, hello, hello. My name is Rex Red, and we are going to today have some really fun with a program that I have already briefly gone over with you all. It's a program called Ultra Scenery, but this is a new version of Ultra Scenery, and I have done some work with Ultra Scenery. I'm not sure how much I've done um, with you on uh, line here, um, live, but um, today we're going to go deeper into the Ultra Scenery. XT, it is called, okay? And um, I'm not sure what the XT st stands for, um, but it, it might have something. The T might stand for terrain, um, uh, you know, and the X might kind of be more like uh, um, that it's far away, far away terrain. Um, I'm just kind of guessing at that. So, all right. So what... Um, this what's new about Ultra Scenery XT is that um, norm with the regular Ultra Scenery you go into Smart Content and you just type up Ultra Ultra Scenery. I don't think I spelled that right. Ultra Scenery, and what you will get if you go and do that here, Control X. Control V. If you do that in your main products thing, you'll come up. If you've per if you've purchased this, and you and you have to have a fast computer to do ultra scenery. Okay, so you have to have an Nvidia sound card. I mean, Nvidia graphics card, and you have to have um, probably at least eight cores, um, eight fast cores. And um, and you want a really nice uh, like RTX sound card. Um, sound uh, graphics card okay so um, this is where you find um, ultra scenery now we got just a bunch of V's stuck okay uh, we don't want uh, that many V's thank you um, so uh, this is uh, and as you can see I own every um, add-on to ultra scenery whenever they come out it doesn't matter the day it comes out I buy it um, and so this is uh, um, uh, for uh, for um, Angus, if you're here. Yes, welcome, Angus. Sigmund says hi. Hi. Oh, all right. Well, that was nice, Sigmund. All right. So, uh, yes, this is um, so this is how you find ultra scenery when you purchase it. You click on smart content here, and it's this tab up in the top. And then you click on all products and you type in ultra scenery and you'll find it here. Um, if you've purchased it, you'll find it here. Um, it will be in the list uh, if you type in ultra scenery. Now, um, uh, but today what we're going to do is we're going to work with both ultra scenery and with um, ultra scenery X to X T. Now, the thing about Ultra Scenery XT is in order to find it, you have to go up and click on Window, Panes, and then click on Panes. And then you have to move your mouse over and scroll down all the way down until you find Ultra Scenery XT. And it will pop up. Um, it, it usually pops up like this as a, um, a little tab. And what you do is you grab this little envelope folder kind of tab here and you drag it and you just drop it here, okay? And that is how you do it. <laughs> yes, Sigmund is very helpful here uh, in, in, in doing this. So, um, all right. So what we have now, when you click on the tab, this is what you get, nothing. <laughs> You get absolutely nothing except a little plus sign, okay? Um, I am trying, I am uh, having some tea. And I have to uh, make sure my tea bags seep well, 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 well. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little plus sign. And uh, you want to probably pick 512, okay? Because that's 
going to give you a pretty nice scene. And um, since this is far away, it doesn't have to be high resolution, okay? It doesn't have to be high, high, high resolution, okay? So 512 works for me. If your computer is weak and you have problems with 512, then you want to um, click on something smaller. Now, uh, uh, save location. So what we're going to do is we're going to browse. And we have to come up with a, a, a name for this scene. So uh, we're, before uh, we do this, we're going to go File, Save As, Scene. And normally what I do is I just save it in this folder. But been, since we need a folder, a folder, a dedicated folder, we're going to call this um, Ultra, Ultra, uh, that's not very original. Um, um, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, we're going to call it Ultra Scenery XT. And now uh, we're there, and now we're going to go in here, and we're going to call this uh, alt this file, this ultra, ultra scenery XT, and we're going to save it there. Include uh, background images, threading, okay, accept. Okay. And then we're going to go here to this um, uh, where it says name Ultra Scenery XT. And we're going to uh, material. Uh, we're, okay, save location here. All right. We're going to go browse. And uh, we're going to go up. And we're going to look for Ultra Scenery XT. Ultra, this is my, uh, here it is. Uh, we'll save it in here. Select directory. Okay, that's where we're going to save our location. Now, um, as you can see, what it's done here is it's um, created a piece of land. And the piece of land is way up in the air. Okay, that should tell you something's wrong. Okay, okay. Now, uh, I'm going to straighten this out just a little bit because it's kind of the way I like to work is with my camera face on. All right. So um, as you can see, the land is up in the air. And this this uh, <laughs> made me pull my hair out for a while. OK. Uh, trying to figure out why the land was up in the air. OK. And um, and so. What I've done here is, uh, okay, we're going to try and fish these chamomile teas out of here. Oops, we did it. Okay. Ow. Ow. That's hot. Hot tea. Okay. So um, I've kind of figured out what to do. All right. Now, because now this thing that says maximum altitude and it says 100, okay? So um, what you want to do is possibly go down to 50, uh, 50. All right, let's go to 50 uh, and see what happens. And it redraws this. And now look, um, we have land, but it's still kind of high, all right? And so let's go to uh, 30. And okay, now this gives us this kind of far away land. And it is it what you want? Well, this is okay. Once you get, um, because you're not going to be using this uh, land here to set your characters on, you're going to be, we're going to be laying land over this, okay? And if you think about how a landscape goes, okay, is you have the land that you're on you know they have the land that your your characters are sitting whether if they're in a lawn chair or whether if they're um they're uh in a car or something like that you have your foreground land okay 
But in the background, you can see mountains really, really far away, okay? And that's what this Ultra Scenery XT is. It makes the far away mountains, okay? And so we're not worried about the land here because the land, if I just put a piece of land here, it's going to look like a piece of land that just drops off the cliff and then goes off and for miles and becomes that background, okay? Because you don't always see the land and exactly where it goes how it goes sometimes it just goes over a hill and disappears and when it finally appears you see it way way far away and so that's that's um the beauty of the illusion okay is that we can make this land very far away um now the thing is, is that I may not, this is kind of a nice piece of land here, but what this gives me here is um, this ability to uh, update maps. And uh, what this does now here, material. Now I have all these different kinds of materials uh, that I can put on the ground okay and so this uh allows me to change you can't really see what's happening um too well let's see you can see um you can't see the trees okay but what you can see is this land and this is far away this land is far away um but you can see the land far away um but you can't see um and i think i'm going to make this go to 10 okay and uh and see so now i can pick the kind of terrain that i want the land that's going to be under the trees okay and so uh we have all these different kind of terrains that we can choose um this one and this one and so uh this is uh gives us a lot of terrains to choose from now um the thing the next thing to do is figure out this uh um this map okay because we have to be okay uh noise okay we're going to uh that's the save location update it render okay so we we can jump over this this is saving this map okay but what we're going to do now, um, and we're going to jump over presets. Presets gives you uh, a, a piece of land and the shape and everything. It picks it out for you, okay? And um, I would advise not using that because it, um, it it's just everything's already done. And, he, and you want to be able to go in and kind of dicker with it. I suppose you could use the preset and then go in and, and dicker with things, okay? Now, we're not going to use a height map, okay? A height map is um, like a, 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 it's an image, uh, like a black and white image, okay? It's a bitmap. Um, and so, uh, and the, the bitmap um, is a, uh, it's a black and white image. The white parts are the high parts and the black parts are the, are the, the, are the valleys. Okay, um, but what this does, this noise instead, is it um, it uses the computer to generate um, uh, different height maps. So as you can see, as I as I as I do this, I can just pick a different seed, and it will just generate a different random picture. You see, and this cellular picture is a kind of noise. All right. And I can pick the scale of the noise. So, uh, as you can see, I believe this has more white in it. Okay. And the more the more I pull, drag it this way, the more white I believe it's going to have. Now, if I bring it this way, it should have more black. Yeah, and it should give us a kind of... Uh, and then there's octaves and fractal uh, warp warp factor and so uh so, so these must be the warps here um warp seed and you can change the kind of warp um that it has 
um, and and you can see it warping. Okay, and um, and then we have gamma, which uh, kind of uh, makes the black and white a little more uh, pronounced. And we can invert it also so that the, the, the white is black and the black is white. Uh, we'll invert, invert it. Okay. And this is the cellular pattern. Then we have perlin, which we saw. And then we have this one is another kind of random noise. Okay. Now, this one I like a lot. Okay. So um, I think we're going to keep this. I just like this a lot right here. So now um, we go on to the next step, okay? And see, the reason why um, now we did this like this is because we, um, you have to make sure that your land is down below your plane, okay? Or else when you lay, when you have your characters come in and you have your, and you lay this ground in, this will come through the ground and you and you can't move this land you see i could drag it down and everything but then when it goes to populate the trees on it and all they it won't be able to populate it properly it, it, it will think the land is where it was where it was generated from okay and so you can't move the land so the only way you can do this is by going minimum altitude and so i'm going to go minimum altitude here instead of 25 we're going to go 30 and let's bring this so it goes even deeper okay let's go uh 35 okay and then, because I want to bring in some water. Oops, it didn't work. Okay, so now this is even deeper. All right, now um, I think what we'll do also is we're going to, instead of the maximum altitude, we're going to go uh, 15. Okay, and hopefully it's not going to pop up. Okay, uh, yes. So now... Um, what we have and, and I'm st I'm not sure that this is even going to work um, but I think it will um, and so let's save our our uh, our dad's uh, image okay I'll save the the our work project right now okay so now we're gonna move past the noise I think we've got we've created the land we want um, now, I don't know that this is the, the material that I want. I think I'm looking for more like a green. Um, and I think I like this uh, green green. Here was it. Uh, greenish. More green. <laughs> Where is it? Uh, maybe this one. Uh, what's this one? Yeah, let's go with this. Okay. Um and uh, it looks like, you know, far away land that has uh, greenery on it and it has uh, some rocks sticking through it. Now uh, we go to the next one and then this is mixing. OK, and this one has to do with if you're going to uh, if you're going to mix the height map, if you're if you want to use two maps where you want to use. Uh, your own map and your own map will have some kind of basic maybe it'll be be uh, um, like white around the edge so you have this rim here and then um, because we want a sunset and we want all that stuff so you may want the height map to uh, to to and then um, so you can uh, load your height uh, uh, black and white image in you can load it in at, and use this terrain um, this height map and then down here you and you can use the this noise map the Perlin or these different to generate noise and then you can say how much you want of each one okay and this adds them together and this and the other one multiplies them together I'm not sure exactly how um, how the multiply works but the add one is pretty self-explanatory now the reason why uh, there's if I were to turn this all the way off it's not going to do anything 
because we don't have a map loaded okay and so it's and so it's a hundred percent either way it doesn't matter because we haven't uh, loaded a map okay so now um, we go to the edge and the edge has to do with the edge because this isn't infinite okay it's not an infinite plane okay it and sometimes you can see the edge it's like the edge looks like an edge and this allows you to um, soften the edges okay of the map so that looks like they round down okay well I don't have that problem here so we're just going to but as you can see you can round how much um, the size and the, how much you how much of a border I believe it is um, would be size like so 25 percent of the edge you want it to be uh, rounded on the north south east or west um, part of and I'm not sure which one is north and which one is south, but it's uh, if you were to turn this on, um, it, and at 25 it would do all four. Okay, we're gonna leave that off. Okay, but that's what that does. And now erosion, this one, um, I don't really understand this very much, um, but it has to do with how the land kind of spills down into the valleys okay and so it allows you to uh, kind of spill the land down into uh, the valleys because all right and, and I'm gonna leave that one but you can pretty much um, you know just drag and see what it does um, now when I turn erosion off okay this is off and this is on and you can see what it's done it's kind of added this um, now this is off this way it's just like a bunch of spots and there's a little bit of erosion it looks like but it's mainly because of the kind of map we chose that some of these spots are low and high and they're they're grad gradients and all um, and so uh, and part of that is the pattern of the rock the rock pattern and all so um and then we have this strata I have no idea what these do. I, I haven't re really, uh, I, I, I read over them too quick. I should have. But, um, uh, and displace, I have no idea what they do. Um, but um, they're, I'm sure they're very important to uh, learn about. And maybe we'll uh, do another uh, tutorial on what they do, okay? But <laughs> what I do know about this program is um, enough to uh to uh get us started okay and so um so we have this beautiful piece of land here now um and remember you can't move the land up or down so the only way to move the land up or down is to go up back up to here and say okay and that's why you have to leave the land in the same place because if i want to come back up here and say all right uh, I would rather it be I would rather it go uh, minimum altitude to go even lower than um, then uh, then I then I can go here and I can say like 40 and it can re it can refigure it because I haven't moved it from where it is these have to stay here so what you have to do is you have to create the land by using these the altitude the heights and the distance and all of that stuff you have to create using um, this uh, using these parameters and and you have and and you can't even once you get this all done and say then the land then you can't say okay then I'll move the land and I'll show you why uh, in a bit why you can't do that but you can just not move the land at all okay I have it selected and I it, if I dragged it up it would move but then I would throw everything off and none of these things would work okay so this uh, land has to stay you have to use these um, these tools okay to shape the land the way you want all right so now the next thing we're gonna go this is the fun part now not every scene has water in it thank you for the likes thank you very much very kind of you to like uh, it's just so nice that I don't have to even ask people to like that they are just so nice there's such nice people 
that they just like um, they like my videos without asking and thank you thank you that is very 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 kind okay um, very kind Mwah. thank you all right so the next part is kind of the this is fun now not every scene is going to have water we're going to use water in this scene just because I want to show you how awesome the water is okay now I'll say so we're going to add water and as you can see this doesn't leave us very much land, okay? And the reason why, the water, I believe, the water level is zero. And so this is going to tell us a little bit about um, how high our land is. So I think what we might want to do is, um, is raise our land up a little bit higher, okay? Um, even though we, can, we are going to lower the water, okay? Um, all right, so then we're going to go and we're going to go maximum altitude uh, is going to be 20. Now see what that did? That Let's go 40, 30, 30. Okay, now that's pretty good. Now what we can <coughs> lower the water. But there again, you don't click on the water and lower it, or you don't click on anything and use these DAZ tools to do it. You go into the water here, and you lower the water. Water level is going to be minus 15. Now, I'm going to show you something. Now, look at this vista now that we have. Now, notice this um that it has a coast it has erosion around the edge here and that might have something that might have to do with the erosion okay but w wherever wherever i put this water and you see i can make it invisible and notice how um now the water it, it still thinks it's there but i've just made the water disappear and see so this is how what it does is it creates the texture the underwater texture okay and see this is what um and the water material uh, so because you don't want the the wa the land underneath the water to be the same color as the the land above the water you want it to be i guess darker you can still have the stones and the and the kind of pattern okay but you don't want the water to be um but what's most important is this edge here you see you want it to have like a coastline a shore you want it to have this edge here okay and so if i turn the water back on and if i move the water up to uh say 20 okay it's going to move it up higher all right minus 20 notice it moved the edge up you see isn't this now if i to make it invisible again you can see what it's done it's changed the pattern of this and you see these this isn't really that difficult you know you go th you go through the it's kind of a progression okay and you pick you pick the pattern to uh to so do you get some kind of random piece of land that looks like something you might want to use and then you uh and then you go with uh your water now i'm going to go back to uh minus 25 all right the water depth okay now um i'm not sure what that does okay um but let's turn this off and see uh what happens when we go to go 50 <laughs> let's do something big and uh where did the water go <laughs> okay we turned it off all right 50 now let's turn the water back on now let's go back to 20 all right water depth oh okay i suppose you can't have the water depth 50 and the level at 25 you see what i'm saying so it would the water depth would have to be like 30 minus 30 okay 
And uh, now let's turn this off. Okay, it didn't work. Minus 30. All right, it's not letting me um, change the water depth. Okay. Um, uh, okay, I think I know what the water depth is, okay? The water is a cube, okay? It's a cube in the scene. And um, the water... Uh, can um, and so even though your scene may only go so much uh, the water depth is just kind of a, a, so that it goes deep enough people are they, they say probably people are not going to want to make their land go any more than uh, 50 uh, the water depth they're not going to want the water to be more than 50 50 is like Higher than Mount Everest, you know, deeper than the, the, uh, the, the trench there. All right, so uh, it's at least for practical purposes, fifty is the biggest cube of water, and so it doesn't really have to do with this, um, how deep this is, because that is set by how deep you make uh, the land, okay? How, how dark the black spots are versus and how high and how deep you make the land, okay? And the water, um, and then when you set the level, okay, which is minus 25, um, then it sets it to this level here. And this is very important, this minus 25 level okay this line here is the minus 25 um, because we're going to come back to that all right um, when we set our tree line because we're going to put trees on this okay and we don't want our trees in the water so our trees need to start maybe at like minus 24 okay and then we set how high of an altitude we want the trees to go up okay so um all right, so uh, that's why um, it's important to uh, to make a note. Well, you know, it, we'll have it here. We can just look and say, where's our water level? Okay, so the water depth, now the water width, okay, is going to be um, a thousand. It says a thousand, and I, I'm just guessing that's a thousand by a thousand, okay? And so a thousand meters wide by a thousand meters, so if you change it to 500, um, and let's go make it visible. Let's change it to 50. And we'll probably see we don't have any water. Okay, now if we go to uh, width, oh, it was 10. Let's go to, to 500. And you see, uh, that is, uh, um, something's wrong here. Oh, you see, it's not long enough. To actually come to the edge of the shore do you see it, it it is here but this part it looks like it's to it's gone down it hasn't gone down it's just not wide enough to go to the edge so if I were to go 700 okay because we really don't want it sticking way out beyond the land okay because it could go out you know forever and I'm wondering if we could go 2,000 yeah, so we could have it go way out beyond the mountains. All right, but 700, 700 works, okay? It goes all the way to the edge, and it all is so just for um, for the sake of, uh, of not having it go too far, uh, that's how it works. It's, so it's square, and if your scene is like panoramic and it's really, really wide, 700 may not be enough. This is 16 by 9, like a, a movie uh, a movie screen, like um, like your TV. It's 16 by 9. Um, so, uh, so this is um, uh, um, pretty wide. Uh, so it's going to be, um, and, and as you can see, we're n we haven't run out of water here um, in here. So 700 works for that. We might as well just and just 
use what we need for water. Be sparing with the water. Okay, so this is the fun part. This is the biome. And so uh, we're going to go minimum altitude. And uh, our water level, it's kind of like um, we're going to turn on the biome. On the biome. Okay, now we look, we have these this uh, biome conifer trees. Now, they don't show up. Okay, the only time they show up is when you render it. That's uh, There's no way to fix that, and I, I kind of wish it didn't. Um, let's uh, create a camera, new camera. Copy, we wanted to uh, copy the perspective view. P copy the, the view we're looking at exactly, okay? So we're going to accept that. And now let's switch to our camera. And then go back to Ultra uh, Scenery XT. Okay, so now we're looking through our camera. And so we're going to restrict these trees to our current camera, okay? Uh, and we can just say no restriction, and then it will, because this land goes all the way around us and behind us, as far behind us as it is going ahead. And if you look, and let's, uh, let's save this. I'll show you how, um, how big this is. This looks like it's kind of like right in front of us it's not it's miles and miles and miles away okay and i'll show you just how big it is okay uh now when i click on this uh this uh uh right here and we go like this see that little teeny square that's that little square there see where it's appearing there that little square that's about um that's look at the mountain ranges behind us and all and this is that this little piece of um mountain range is what we're looking at here okay and so uh can i undo that edit okay so we're back okay that worked all right so now back to ultra scenery so we have trees here, but we just can't see them right now. Okay, uh, I'm going to save this again. Now, uh, so what we're going to do is uh, let's pick a, a biome. It tells us what the biome looks like. There's uh, another biome. I don't want snow. Uh, and I don't think they are. It's not going to put snow here. I think it's just going to put the trees. Uh, the snow, you have to pick the snow biome. We've got shrubs. I think we can get uh, even. Um, these are shrubs. These are tussock. I don't know what they are. Tussock conifer shrub. Tropical. Okay, we have oasis. Tropical shrubs. Uh, it's going to show us a give give us a basic idea. All right, let's um, let's give this a render. Let's make sure. Let, look at our render settings. 1920 by 1080 that's going to give us we'll be able to see this let's take a look and see what this looks like now we're not going to have a sky in it yet okay let's see what we've got now look how beautiful this is and the program was smart enough to know that my water began and there's no trees in the water it was smart enough to know that my that i set the water level to be here so uh so the trees and they go all up over the hill and what's really nice is as they go up the hill they kind of get smaller the trees uh they seem to i'm not sure that that's that it kind of seems like it is but I believe that it does actually do that for the, for the distance kind of effect. Okay, and um, so uh, we have this land. All right, now um, let's close. So this is what it's going to look like, and it does kind of give us these uh, trees. Now we can go in here. Yes, cancel this render. Yes. Okay, and close this. Now, all right, we're going to save it again. I'm just uh, always saving my work. All right, so now we're going to go back to this Ultra Scenery XD. Now we have different kinds of water. 
we have this water. And, you know, it's not going to make much difference what water I pick because if you notice the sky, it's gray. And the sky is going to just make the water look gray. Um, and so the only way to really um, do the, anything with the sky is to go and pick some kind of sky that's not gray. And it's making the land look gray as well. The trees look gray. Everything it's reflecting off the sky. That's the what, what a sky does is it imparts its color into onto the land. Okay, so we go back to our uh, smart content files, and let's click on our render settings, and let's pick a sky here. Let's see if this works. Now, as you can see, this sky uh, imparted. I'm not too thrilled with that. It's kind of let's get a blue sky. That's a little bit too uh not pretty. It, I guess okay, that's kind of pretty. Well, uh, I don't know. It's a little too uh like a picture kind of. I'm looking for something realist, very realistic, more more uh dramatic, but uh let's see. Okay, this is kind of nice, and I think we can turn this. Um, so we go to, to our environment here. And why is this uh, like this? What happened to my parameters? Uh, parameters, okay, we go here. All right. Why are my parameters like there? They're not supposed to be there. They're supposed to be down here. Let's pull this out. Scene. Okay, something's wrong here. Usually my parameters are down here. Alright, we're going to have to use our parameters like this. No, i got to figure this out. Okay, scene. That didn't work. It's just something I'm not doing right here. Uh, scene. Okay, it might be down here. Well, that's my timeline. Nope. Okay, uh, scene. I know uh, there's one other way I can fix this, but... Okay, uh... Alright, we're going to do it a different way. Window, workspace... Select layout, city lim limits, except this is going to screw everything up. Window, panes, viewport, okay, select layout, city limits, light. Okay, there they are. Now my parameters are back down there. We don't want the viewport. Close that. And my uh, panes, we're going to need our Ultra Scenery XT. We'll drag that and put that back here. Okay, so now when we click on XT, it reloads all that back in. Okay, um, and we got to go back to my camera view. What's wrong here? Something went wrong here. front we lost something here something oh we went into all right this still looks right okay save this something looks different in the land save okay uh, the land like it picked a different 
kind of land but uh oh it's because the land it, we have the sky and we're i'm used to seeing this land with the gray sky okay and um okay so now we can go to this environment map and we can rotate our dome until we get the sky kind of the way we want it that's kind of pretty um all right so uh Let's uh, let's look for a better, a different sky. Let's kind of play around with some skies here. Uh, uh, render settings. Okay, we don't want context. Okay, so we're gonna go and look for some skies here. Okay. What are these? Okay, here are some skies. Let's see what these look like. 1K. All right, let's turn the dome on. Okay, that's got trees behind it, but I think if I rotate it, the trees go away. No, maybe not. See, that just totally breaks the perspective of it all. Okay, uh, let's go and look some more. Day's end. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. Rotate the dome. That's kind of nice, but um, I'm just, I don't know if I want red. Let's just look. I have like a million of these skies and, uh, okay, these are some nice skies. Let's see, bare sky. Um, no, not you, Sigmund. Oh, look at that. That's kind of really nice having that. Let's see what it looks like rendered. See, now the water is starting to kind of take on a, a different kind of thing. All right. And I think it, uh, look at how beautiful this is. So, uh, yeah, see, this is really nice. Now, um, this is where I'm going to show you something that's kind of... Would you like to cancel this render? Yes. Um, this is the beauty of this program, okay? Is so that now what we're going to do is we're going to use the other... Um, we're going to use the other Ultra Scenery products. Here it is, okay and uh, ultra scenery landscape setting okay and ult utilities ultra scenery okay we'll we'll do an altitude of two okay and we're gonna features uh, we don't want any features uh, eco ecology uh, let's pick uh, let's pick this one mossy hollow and then we're gonna choose our camera and we're gonna get rid of the trees we just want the ferns and the base ground cover and build the scene and let's see what happens done Okay, now, uh, now that's the thing about this is you can't move, uh, so what we got to do is now it's time to bring a person into this. Okay, um,
All right. So, uh, because we, uh, how big are things? We don't really know. We can kind of say, well, these are flowers, but the ferns look kind of big. Maybe the human is be tiny, and he'll be there in inside the, in the ground. You you, you have to get perspective, okay? And so. And that's why you bring, you know, usually a human, uh, you can tell it like it tells you the perspective of things. OK, and so uh, this is what we're going to do. Uh, and it shows you where the middle of your world is. And then so I I may have to go back and change this ultra scenery, make these mountains much higher um, and uh, and we'll see. And I might need to pull this this land over. OK, and you. The thing about ultra scenery is I can keep generating this land until um, like I can go back to ultra scenery here. Um, products. Where was that? Ultra scenery render settings. I can open it again. Utilities. And it will reload all of my settings. Okay. And then I can say, I really don't want the ferns, but I, I think I'm going to try a different ecology. Uh, let's try the oaks. Build. And uh, let's just leave the seedlings, and we'll turn off the oaks. The long grass, grass tufts, base grass. Uh, we'll leave the seedlings. And camera, build scene. It's going to get rid of all the ferns, ferns and it's going to put in... It's going to use the same land, all the same settings. Uh, it's not going to have a river or any roads. It's going to use the same settings, but it's going to just change the. Now, I can't do that once I move this terrain. So I need to get the right kind of terrain that I want uh, for ultra scenery. I need to get the right terrain, terrain before I move the ultra scenery um, ground and so you're going to get to see how these work together welcome Rawl thank you I, I thank you very much I hope this is interesting very much very 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 much and you can get this uh, this Daz Studio free um, if you look up uh, daz3d.com and put it on your computer and work with these things. Okay, so uh, um, now these ultra scenery does cost uh, a, a good uh, a good amount to purchase. Uh, okay, done. We have to wait until it says done. <laughs> it let's us click on it. All right, now uh, close. All right, so we got a few trees here, and uh, and we've got the ground, the grass. Um, let's. Uh, okay, I think what I'm going to do. Oh, this is kind of nice. Okay, so um, all right, so. Okay, now um, what we're going to do is go into, this is where there's, it just put like, you know, 10,000 pieces of grass and 10,000 pieces of this long grass, you know, it just put, it just totally bogged down my computer with this. So what I have to do is go into, uh, into texture shaded mode. extra shaded and it may allow me to now manipulate this now once I move this ultra scenery grass I'm kind of stuck with what I have okay so we're gonna go here to our move and thing and we're gonna pull this grass see I don't want to okay Z I don't want to move it up or down okay I want okay I just want to move it this way okay now watch what happens. Okay, we lost our trees, but let's see what this looks like now. Okay, we still have a problem here. Okay, so um, I'm going to have to uh, move up a little bit. 
because uh, and then we'll move the grass in and uh, the grass in Z in a little bit more Okay, we're in eye ray mode. It's try every time I move it, it's breaking up the eye ray mode. Okay, you have to do this really carefully. Okay, um, now it should paint this in eye ray. See, once I move the grass, I'm pretty much stuck with the grass. So. Um, now you see what this just did here now okay look we're gonna uh, turn the trees off uh, that would be these oaks okay now look what we've got here you see how we have a foreground where you can put a little bit of action something going on people standing there taking pictures or something and you see you have this grass that's in the foreground and then you have this far away and when we go and do this render look at what we have all right Yes, you can get Daz Studio. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe you already use Daz. But you can go to daz3d.com and this program is free. And it comes with some models and all. Okay. So now we're going to get to see this render. And uh, look at what happens here when we bring this down here. Notice this. Now we could have people sitting in the grass. We could have them sitting at a table and uh and so notice what we have we have this these trees here if if you were to zoom in and go right in and look at the trees they're horrible they are very very low resolution but that because they're low resolution you can put them far away and make them look very uh and they look very realistic because they're far away okay and that's what this this XT is made to make things so that you can have many 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 trees and they're all low resolution and they're all far away but then you can have this grass which is up close that and it's still it's still rendering it's still getting clearer and clearer every time we get more of these iterations. We're only up to 21 iterations. So this is where we can put a little table. We could put a teapot in the center. I think that would be nice and have two guys sitting at a table having some tea. How about that? You know? Um, so uh, the first, so we, we've got it. We've got our scene. Now we've got our up close land that's very high resolution this grass is very very high resolution and the um but but the but this is very low resolution but the the effect that you get is um incredibly nice and and you can't tell that this land just drops right off here you can't tell it looks like it just goes down a hill and kind of goes in and works in with the scene and so uh that's what we're that's what we're talking about now this grass is kind of a uh a, 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 it it's not i kind of wish it was greener instead of being so yellow but um that's what we got all right so um that's the grass i picked so um and i can change the color of the grass that's something I might do. Um, we've got several. We've got tall sprigs of grass, and then we've got this low grass, okay? And so I might make the low grass a little bit more. I might leave it, okay? So, uh, and or if I change, I might change the angle of the sun. 
so that it's not hitting the grass so uh, so uh, it's not so contrasty um, but the more I let this render the more that the grass becomes it's only at 49 iterations it's going to become sharper and sharper and sharper so let's put a person in our scene now okay uh, would you like to cancel this render yes it's got to go up to about 2,000 iterations before it really gets sharp okay um, so this is really nice this is uh, this is how you do it okay this is how you have to put your land down under your uh, your ultra scenery okay you have to put the land down under it and, and then you have to pull your ultra scenery in so that um, it's not covering right over the land okay um, or you have to move your camera way up high and 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 you got to bring your f characters into the scene now if you noticed I pulled the land in I didn't move my camera out to the edge of the land because if you uh, when we go to uh, to texture shaded mode you're gonna see that my uh, that I'm still in the center now if we turn off our ultra scenery here this is still the center of my scene I think I have moved in ahead uh, a little bit um, this is the center of my scene so I'm gonna have to pull the land back a little bit more all right cuz this is where and so uh, we turn this back on okay what we'll do is we'll just do it now we're gonna move this ultra scenery oh we can't see it okay Z we're gonna pull it back a little bit and this is where our characters are gonna come in so let's see now hopefully when they come in they're not gonna be like so tall <laughs> like that all we see is their boot you know or something I don't think so because of this the grass I think they're gonna be just perfect for this scene I'm not positive though but let's uh, let's bring in a character a figure Let's bring, I'm going to bring in my favorite character. Um, he's a new character. Uh, what's his name? Uh, I can't remember, but he's 8.1. And uh, Dwight or something? Bruce. Bruce is my new character. And he, oh my gosh, Bruce. The, the doesn't look like much here, but when we bring him in, you watch and see what I do with him. And Bruce is is an amazingly very well made character um, uh, he is by far my favorite and w what I like about Bruce is that his hands look really realistic and um, that's how you can tell how good a model is um, that you bring in to the to your scene is how nice their hands are if their hands look like elephant fingers then uh, then they're uh they they you know and the character can be a really nice character they can be beautiful in so many ways but but hide those hands you know uh you don't want a close-up of them okay so i don't know if i have a teapot so um okay now i'm going to turn off my uh game capture screen and oh <laughs> there he is i'm going to put some pants on him this will be you'll be surprised uh, because I'm surprised at uh, at how uh, small he is. He's uh, pretty small. So, but I'm gonna just put some pants on. I'm not gonna move anything or move him. So you'll be able to see how much we just how different um, the perspective was. Because I think you probably think he was gonna be tall. I did. I think he thought he was gonna be pretty tall. Um, and so. Uh, um, we're just going to put on some underwear. Um, uh, some, uh, um, what are they called? Boxers. Let's put some boxers on the guy. All right, boxers. Uh, what's going on? we got to click on Bruce. Let's go here with all files. Okay, materials, material, wardrobe. Let's see uh, what uh, 
That's Gen Starter 3. Let's get some Genesis 8 boxers. Okay. I think these, let's see, with Explore product. Funky Flowers. Okay, this is what we want. Um, but I think those are textures for the Funky Flowers. Uh, boxers. Let's see what this is. Uh, Explore product. That's again. All right, let's filter context. Okay. Uh, damn. Basic wear. Okay, we'll use these. Uh, we got Bruce selected. Okay. Now you can come back. All right, see how tiny he is? And he's also sunk into the ground, which means that our... Uh, and the reason why he's down in the ground is because this... this uh, um, I didn't make it flat. I gave the um, this ultra scenery terrain, I gave it... I, I made it two for elevation, which means it jumps from zero to two. Um, in, in It's got little hills, and, you know, it's, so it's not perfectly flat. So what we, we, so because it goes up to two, that's why he's coming out of it like this. So we're going to go now and uh, just move the ground down so he's standing on it. And you can see this curve here. That's, that's part of the, the curve of the land. Okay, so now what we do is we move in here like this. And this a little bit. And like this. And this. And uh, like this. Like this. And I don't know if I want his feet missing. Bring him up a little bit. And we want... Now I'm going to tell you something that somebody told me. Okay. Um, where do you put your horizon? Okay. Um, and I believe like two-thirds. Roughly the horizon, I would say... Uh, is about here is here but it could be considered here and so um, when you talk about your horizon like this you uh, you want it to be somewhere like in this area okay and um, okay and so uh, that's a matter of choice but the person who told me that was so adamant about it you know they 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 sat and talked to me about it for like an hour and absolutely until it was beat into my head that never, never always use your camera and always have the horizon at one at two thirds of the way up. OK, so you go two thirds of the way up and that's where your horizon is. And because he was so adamant about it. Um, I've kind of always done it that way, just out of, because it, he was also a very good painter. And so, uh, I've just listened to his, uh, his advice. And I, I'm thinking this is the horizon, because it's not always where the mountain, it's where everything kind of levels off, where the ground levels off, okay? And so, let's see what this looks like in iRay. Now, uh, we're going to do some work on him. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Okay, we still got some water here. I think I'm going to pull the land in a little bit more so that we can see more of the land. We don't need that much. All right. Uh, all right. So this is uh, working out. We're gonna. He's a little too hunky for me. Uh, so I'm gonna. And this this little thing here. That's because these boxers are silk, and so they have a little bit of a shine to them. I can. I usually take that shine off. I usually put cotton. Uh, put cotton over. It, so they're cotton boxers. Uh, the silky ones just kind of. Uh, 
he's not going to be in his boxers okay so uh they're not going to be in their boxers so um but i just did that so he'd be dressed okay um so now what we're going to do go back to texture shaded and we're going to grab this terrain and we're going to bring it in a little bit more so that uh you can see more of the uh now all right so i think that's going to work so now we're going to work on on our guy here bruce let's bring in our other guy um another guy uh let's go to uh back to our smart content get rid of the boxers here and products and let's bring in um let's look through and see uh what we want um let's go with alistair he's my little angel here let's bring alistair in both of these guys are like a load new figure except okay both of these guys are um like muscle guys okay so but i'm gonna take and make them look like average guys okay so i'm not uh um but they're they're just overly muscular okay and what I like about uh, Alistair is that he has these really rosy cheeks. Okay, uh, I think when it brings Alistair in, okay, he's going to be uh, here like this. Um, uh, I'm not now that I think of it, Alistair may not work. Um, because of his skin, uh, their skin color is going to be so different. Um, it, I mean, they're just made um, from a completely different technology and it makes it difficult. I'm going to go with an 8.1. Um, let's go with uh, um, I have another one here. Alex Capital. He's got a giant scar and I I made an Alex Capital that didn't have the scar but okay Merlin is new Michael eight and we got Pablo okay Rocco let's put Rocco in okay uh, Rocco has the same eight one kind of uh, and he's HD as well so we'll bring Rocco in okay and uh, And welcome to the tutorial. Welcome to the tutorial. I'm having my uh, decaf tea here. Rose hip and chamomile. And uh, so we are working with uh, Ultra Scenery XT and Ultra Scenery. So we have them both in the scene at the same time. Now, uh, as soon as I know that my ultra scenery is going to be fine, what I'm going to do is turn it off. I'm just going to like hide it in the scene uh, because it's going to—it's making it so I can't do anything really. It's—it's it's such a hog, and the only way to work with this scene is to turn off the mountains and turn off the grass, and that, and then, and then uh, to hide them in the scene, and then. It's like they're not even even there, and then I can work with posing my uh, main characters. These guys are going to be fun to see. Stick around; you're going to get to see how I uh, how I kind of shape these guys. Okay, and uh, so we're going to have to put some uh, some boxers. We're going to put; they're going to be dressed in clothes. Okay, so um, they're. Uh, so that takes a while. I, I should actually turn a lot of the. Um, I have this thing called Turbo uh, Loader or something, and it and it it they take a long time to load because I have a mil. I bought a million morphs. Like I can morph their faces into werewolves or whatever I want, and so 
now you can see there's definitely a problem with, with Rocco. Rocco is like a, a, a whole foot shorter than, okay, so um, now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to these boxers. Boxers here and there they are. Let's put these on on Rocco as well. All right. Now um, we're going to take our camera. Okay, I think we're going to go like this. And then we're going to go like this because they're going to be sitting. All right, and we're going to go like this. And we're going to lock the camera here. So edit, object, geometry, object, lock. Okay, lock the camera. Now we're going to make Rocco the same height as, uh, as Bruce. Okay, so we're going to go and click on Rocco and we're going to type up here height. This is a morph, okay? So... Rocco's Rocco looks younger, but he's not. He's a he's a guy. All right, so they're roughly about the same height, okay? Just so that um, one of them doesn't look like really small. Okay, now um, we're gonna take and separate them. So we're gonna go here into our parameters. Get rid of the height word. And we're gonna translate Rocco over here, and we're gonna translate now. Th this guy looks like a brute. Okay, he really does. But we're gonna take Rocco does too. Uh, if you look at them now, we're gonna go to perspective mode, and you look at Rocco's pretty, uh, pretty well. Uh, so I I don't think I have to change Rocco that much. But this guy, he's just like way over. His face is very brute, and we're going to change both of that. So what we're, we're going to do on cl click on Bruce, okay? We're going to click Currently Used, and we're just going to tone his body down. And we're going to tone that down. Um, Rocco's going to have a shirt on. Uh, have They're going to have maybe suits. Uh, they might be having a suit. And now his face, He's this guy has got the most incredibly beautiful face but what they've done is they've exaggerated his his features and watch what happens when I bring them down just a little bit suddenly you have the most beautiful man you have ever seen look at that face suddenly he's and his he's it's half and half okay he's half um, Genesis 8 because when you take it all the way down, you got Genesis 8, okay? But if you bring in like half of him, half of Bruce, and half of Genesis 8, look at what you have. Oh my gosh. That's a beautiful, just beautiful. And Rocco just is, uh, again, very, he has this beautiful. But we could do the same thing with Rocco and just take uh, his uh, currently used. Just take his head down a little. Some of his features, just soften them a little bit, okay? All right, to bring them down into this kind of, all right? So that they're just not quite as, I don't know, I think grotesque is kind of the, you know, because uh, this uh, this guy here, when we had him with Bruce, this, this is kind of grotesque. It's like really heavy duty, okay? And it's... You bring it just down a little bit and suddenly you've got, but you might, went, but the thing is, is that when you want this really tough guy with a gun and he's like a, you know, bad guy in an alleyway dressed up really, you know, or something or, or a cop or something that's, you know, that's when you want this. But, but it's just when you just take a little bit of it down like that suddenly you've got this really really like look at that okay and you still get the the dimple in the chin and they both have the dimple in the chin so all right okay enough i love my characters so um all right now they're they're kind of ready to uh to work with okay so now we're gonna uh let's um i think i'm gonna dress them uh, uh let's uh dress them 
Put some clothes. Let's find some clothes for them. All right. So uh, I guess we could do... Let's work with their hair first just to give them some kind of hair. Okay. Um, so uh, products just so they're not bald. That's kind of the worst part of it right now is them not having hair. So uh, let's see. Where is the... Um, Um, let's see what we've got for hair. Okay, let's, uh, let's give Rocco the shy guy hair. And, uh, and what's up Rocco there you go shy guy hair and I guess we could leave him blonde why not well Rocco has really dark eyebrows um, very very but you don't it doesn't matter a lot of people a lot of blonde people have very dark eyebrows let's see what he looks like here in IRA Okay, we have to turn off our environments. We have to turn off these ultra scenery things. It's going to take like forever for these guys to render, especially with hair. Hair is like a hog. Hair takes up almost as much as this, this whole land does. Come on. Let's see it. Show us Rocco. All right, it's not going to work. Come on. All right, I'm going to turn off ultra scenery, the background here. And we're going to turn off the terrain for now, too. And we'll work with these guys here. Come on. I hope I saved it. I should what I should have done is turn before I started working with these guys, I should have turned those off. I talked about it, but I didn't. Alright, I gotta go into texture shaded mode real quick. All right, there we go. All right, now uh, we're gonna minimize that. Now we should be able to go. I kind of like those dark eyebrows, but you can't tell until you go into eye ray. They just might look terrible with light hair. So let's see what we got here. No, they're not that bad. Okay, I think they work. Um, okay. The question is what kind of beard... Uh, okay, now the thing is, is I think the long hair is kind of a little bit too uh, long in the front. So let's go with uh, poses. Hairstyle. Uh, we got to select the hair. Rocco. Okay, let's uh, go with something short. I think that's better. No, I don't know. Maybe let's see. Hairstyle. I think I can. I think I can go here and grow it. Yeah, we've got just cheekbones. What is hairstyle? Posing. Shaping.
Sideburns out. Head width. Is that this? The base hairs. It looks like he's got two, two of them on. No top hairs. Okay. Top style. Okay. Side hairs. Base hairs. Okay, let's uh, texture shaded. What happens when we Okay, let's see what that looks like. We're going to be seeing him from the side. Okay, um, I think I just ruined it, his hair. Okay, let's go back to what's the default. Click on his hair cap. Default. Okay, I think that works. We're just going to leave it at the default. As you can see, there are so many ways I can uh, edit this. Now let's uh, go here and let's give this guy some hair. Bruce. See, uh, these are, um, those are tricks, uh, taking and just taking down their features a little bit. That's a trick. Taking their bodies down so they don't look like hulks, you know, and they, uh, they do that on purpose. They accent, exaggerate their body size so that, uh, they exaggerate their body size. Let's give Bruce the punk tail. Punky tail. Let's see what it looks like. All right, but it's got to be dark. dark brown here it is there we go and uh See what we got here. That is not bad. Now, uh, we're going to give Bruce some kind of uh, mustache base. Not a mustache, uh, uh, stubble. Five o'clock shadow here. Face. I don't think he. I think maybe we'll try this down here. I've got something that's kind of cool. This guy. Let's see what it looks like, Bruce. Does it work? Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah. 
See, look at that. See, this guy, is, he's just so perfectly made. I, I'm very pleased with this model. Very, very, very. Whatever they did, do more of it. Yeah, they, uh, they used really nice skin. And look at his hands. Look how realistic. We're going to show you. These are good hands right here. This... Look at these hands. They're very, very nice uh, up close. See, they're, you know, they're not perfect, but they're so much better than hands that I've had to work with. Um, and it's awful bright here, but look at the hands. They're very, very nice. Like I told you, they their pants are uh, this uh, kind of uh, silk plastic. They're almost like a plastic. And Now, if you look at this guy's hands, Rocco's hands... I'm not sure we're going to see the same kind of thing. Um, Rocco's got uh, veins. He's got HD kind of stuff going on, but they're not bad. They're they're not bad either. The the knuckles are a little, but but same with uh. The, the the hands are the giveaway on these figures. Okay, they're gonna give, and Rocco even has some hair. I so I think I'd like to have these guys with short uh, short sleeve shirts on. I think where that just kind of because I thought we could have them in suits, you know, drinking tea together at you know sitting at a. Uh, but okay, we're gonna uh, texture shaded. Let's go to texture shaded mode. Okay, so let's save this. And uh, I think Rocco's going to have some kind of stubble too, but uh, we'll see. All right, so now um, we need to find a table and set them down at it. We got to find some table and chairs. Table. Table. Okay. Uh, let's. Bring Rocco up here. Bruce, Rocco. Okay. We're going to put Bruce and Rocco in a group. Create a new group. Call it figures. So they're both together. So I can just work on them together. Uh, except. All right. They're in a group. Now they're okay. And now we're going to look for a, a nice table. I want it to be ornate, something. This kind of looks nice, this set. I can I can make the table smaller. Merge into scene. Let's see what this looks like. What happens if I delete? Can I can delete the chairs. Okay. And we can take this table here. Table. And scale it X. Now I'm not sure if this is going to work because there's no place for their legs. And now I think I've made the legs so thin. What I'd have to do is take this leg out here, which I could do. Oh, they got a little table. Nice round table okay now we got too many tables here okay take these chairs out and if I'm gonna put candles in here I'll put my own I don't think I want candles I just want tea now um OK, 
Okay, we're going to move the chairs out a little bit. Now the thing, okay, I'm not say, I'm wondering about this. Yeah, they can they do have a place for their legs to scoot in, uh sorta, kinda. Um All right, let's uh let's find some poses. Should we put some uh Okay, poses, sitting, by function, what are we, well, something's wrong here, okay, we got the chair selected, we got to check, uh, select uh, our figures, okay, let's put this, all this table stuff and, and all, Pretty long table. Candle holder. Let's get rid of that. Let's take this chair out. Uh, unparent. And we can get rid of the long table. And we'll put that in the there. Now are these chairs the same? I didn't even look. They look the same. Yeah, let's uh, assume they are. Okay, so this is all one group now, the table and chairs. I think I might put a tablecloth on this. But uh, maybe not. I don't know. The table might be nice enough with the tea and stuff right on it. Uh, okay, so, um, so now we have to select our figures and get them sitting. I'll find a sitting by function sitting let's see I don't see anything with T okay look at this now sitting All right, what happens when we move him over? Rotate him. X, translate. Okay. Y. Okay, his legs have got to go down. Let's try this sitting instead. Bruce. That's a little closer, I think, to what, but now he's not. All right, I think it's a little closer to what we're looking for. Rotate Y. Oh. Okay, um, Let's get uh, Rocco sitting as well. We'll get them both in the same pose. And okay, X. Rotate. X translate. I shouldn't have put their hair on them. I think I can hide their hair. I 
think I have to hide their hair. Um, and so I can move them more. Uh, shy guy hair. Hairstyle. One of these is going to be hide. Visible and visible in viewport. Off. No, okay. I'm going to try this, and I don't think that's going to work, but let's see. No, I grabbed the hair. Edit, undo. Don't move the hair. Rocco. I don't think this is going to work. I think I've got to take their hair off. Well, it's kind of working now. It's a little better. Okay, let's bring this chair in. Okay, Rocco, where are you? Why? Let's now take our take our Bruce. chair in. Okay. What's happening with their legs? His leg is going right through the darn. This table was not made Okay, what's going to be nice is the ground is going to be very forgiving because of the grass. All right, and this guy's leg's going to come in. And them looking at each other. So we're going to select him. This is Rocco. X. No, that's the wrong. Edit undo. Um, C. Why? Okay, that's our Bruce. And we're going to rotate.
rotate him so he's looking at Rocco. Okay. Chair. That's his chair. I had it undo. I didn't want to move it. Okay. I didn't want to move it that way. Now let's check their legs and make sure they're not going through the table. They are. So we're going to have to move this leg in. Table, Y translate, oh, it's moving the scale, oh, okay, edit undo, it's moving the table. Okay. We gotta take the chairs out of here. Unparent. And this other chair. Unparent. Now we may be able to move the table. Okay, we didn't want to make it larger, we just want to make it taller. That's a little too tall. Why scale? Maybe it's okay. See, this is going to be a problem. This damn table was just not made for this kind of thing. But it is kind of nice and ornate. Let's see what his legs are doing. I can't tell. we got to select, select this guy. He's... Okay. I really think we're going to put his... hand here. And... And twist. Not going to matter, you can't see it. But that twist is just. If we're going to do any kind of twisting, it's going to be this part. Twist. There we go. Alright, this is supposed to say, okay, cancel, save, control, alternate S. Well.
Not sure why. Uh, okay. Now, uh, the shoulder. That's not what we want. Maybe it is the collar. What the heck? Is the bend twisting? Well, let's try the twist. It's probably because it's so twisted. Added undo. Okay, let's get some teacups and saucers and things like here. Just don't want their hands to be exactly the same. Okay, he's going to have a little soul patch. Okay, um... Now, uh... Where is it? Let's go to files here. T. I hope I have a tea set. I know out of all this stuff, I must have a teapot and tea set and all that stuff. Okay. There we go. Look at this. Um. Let's go with that. Coffee. That's a coffee pot. Let's go with a teapot. We want something a little more dainty. Oh, look at these chairs. Tea. Tea set. Oh, here we go. Creamer. Sugar, teapot, okay, let's bring the teapot up, and <coughs> let's go to our Cup. Uh, 
Um, yes, ye. Had to sneeze. X. Y. Z. X. Okay, um, rotate. Okay, I think I'd like to bend this hand out a little more. Okay, I think I did something wrong here. Can I move? Okay. We can give him the illusion that he's holding it. Okay, and up. Let's go to our camera mode and see what that looks like. Oh, we can see the guy. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. All right. <laughs> this looks like it's sitting in the table. All right. Let's uh, try another key teacup. Figures. Okay, the tear, the table, the teacup. Okay, we're looking for... Let's just duplicate this cup so we make sure we have the right one. Edit. Duplicate. Okay, let's bring this over here. And we got our camera locked, so I didn't just mess up the camera. All right, and all well, these cups are old. Okay, um, rotate the cup. Pick up out there. I have been doing this for many, many, many years. Uh, many years since like when computers first started out. That's how long I have been doing this stuff. I know how to move it from the top and the side and and to get it just in the right place. <laughs> And so, because it's a 3D object, and it what it may look like it's in the right place at one point, but <laughs> it's not going to look like it's in the right place. Okay, let's go from the camera. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> it is funny. It's working. <laughs> See, they're having tea. Some tea. <laughs> like Mrs. Doubtfire would say. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. 
So now we're going to pull this down so we can work on, have a little more room in our scene here. This one maybe. There we go. Now we need some saucers. Go with these cups. Saucer. Okay, saucer one. My gosh, our handles are way up here. X translate. Y translate. X edit duplicate. Okay. And how about some tea? Some some uh, sugar bowls and stuff. Creamer, cream. I don't know what the difference is between actor and prop. Um, I think the actor would mean that it's uh, got some things built in where you can actually use it. Where it'll go right into their hand automatically. I think that's where the cup would have helped. But uh, um, let's put them in the back. Oh. Z. And X. Y. And we got cream. And what about a sugar? Is there like a sugar thing? Sugar bowl? Sugar bowl. Sugar. Sugar bowl. All right, why translate? X. Z. Okay, and that's up in here. Why try? I'm going to have to make sure these aren't like going through the table and all. They do have a little base on them. Okay, these guys need some clothes. They're, they're in there. Uh, I don't know if I should have put the clothes on them, then posed them. But, uh, um, now we're going to go here and see if everything's right. If everything's in the middle of the table and in the right place. We got the teacups in the right place. I mean, the saucers. Okay, and this looks like a good. Let's kind of line them up with the table. All right, that may not be right, but we'll. Does this have a flower on the other side as well? Yeah, so we can kind of pull it this way. So the handle. Um, okay, back to our camera, save. You know, I kind of wouldn't mind them dressed in suits, but... The, the, he w I want him to have a soul patch, so uh, um, let's go to our figures. Okay, now all of this, this table, chairs, and the sugar, and the cups, and all, we're going to put that all in a group. Create new group. Uh, table. And T. There, now I can move that all together if I have to. Uh, now, um, I need a vote. Should they be dressed in just kind of plain clothes or should they be dressed in suits? 
like t-shirts and jeans or should they be dressed in like a cas casual suits you need to answer I'll give you time to answer casual or suits or casual suits they won't be like you know I don't think they're going to be full suits, but like casual suits. I think uh, I'd put like a doily under under the teapot, but I don't think it would show that much. And maybe uh, a little dish with some uh, some cake on it, you know. Um, but I, I'm wondering if the table would be just too too busy too busy with that so what should we do casual or suits I have a new suit that looks really nice on them so I think I'm thinking about you know casual suits you know casual suits so let's uh, let's go there and see wh what we can find Uh, we're going to click on that. The new suits that I have are really nice. And I bought the textures that go with them. I mean, I, I have gone nuts buying suits, and I rarely dress my figures in them because uh, they look so much better <laughs> without uh, suits. <laughs> Is this it? Let's uh, put, let's put our uh, Bruce in this suit. No, that's the, uh, we got to put the suit on him first. Rig tie, two-piece business suit tie, wardrobe, closed. Let's open the suit. Okay, business suit. Uh... Bruce would be open. Then we can take off the uh, the boxers. Come on, where is it doing? Did it go on? Let's try again. There we go. I wanted their arms exposed, but um, let's see what this does now. Um, I wish I, I think I might change his hair because that ponytail in the back, I can't do anything with that ponytail. So let's uh, see. I don't know if this is the right suit um, that I just bought. I don't know if it is, but it looks pretty cool on him right now. So, uh, Let's see, uh, we got to take off the, uh, take off his, uh, boxers now. <laughs> That's pretty quick. Just double click and boom, instant suit. <laughs> All right, now that's him. Now we got Rocco. We're going to put the same suit on him and then we can change the, uh, the colors. Yeah, I thought, um... So they look dressed up, you know, that they dressed up. Um, let's see. Uh, now let's take Rocco's. I could take off their overcoats. We'll see. Um, where boxers, his boxers are gone. Now we can take their suits and, uh, and do something with him. He's got his arm poking through their materials. Uh, I think I might be able to click on uh, 
Rocco and just do this. And it'll change all of his suit stuff. There we go. And then we can change. Uh, let's give Rocco back his hair. And then we'll go with. Uh, yeah, they're going to be sitting out in the middle of <laughs> all this having tea uh, in their suits. Uh, um, it's kind of like a, a proposal thing, maybe, you know? And uh, we're going to leave him in the gray suit. And we got to fix Rocco's arm, his suit's uh, there. That would be his uh, Rocco's uh rock this would be the uh jacket shirt pants shoes socks suit open okay we got to go into uh tools windows panes tools uh i i, I can like try to turn off their coats and see if they look better more casual so they just have the shirt, and I could give them different color dress shirts. We'll see uh, how that works. I'm not sure how this is all working with their... So we've already got a problem here with... Okay, uh, this is going to go mesh grabber. Perspective. Oh, God, look at this mess. I've got, I know it's here. we got to fix this. I don't think I have to fix all that. It's already auto fit. Okay, I think the rest will work. Okay, it appears to be working. Which way is this got to go to cover that little hole? I may have to push his shirt in. There we go. All right, now let's uh, go back to this and see if this works. Yeah, it did at least fix that. Back to camera view. Save this. Now let's see if... Uh, I'm wondering if his shoe is interfering with the uh, texture shaded. With no, is it? Look, look at the shoe. It, I don't think it's going to matter. No, his shoe is not interfering. Neither their shoe or anything. He might be a little too close to the table. His finger is actually going into the table. Right mid, bend. I don't want that. Okay, uh Go to start here. Rose. Hmm. 
I know this Daz Rose just doesn't work. It's not, um, it's not I ray. And that's what makes it kind of, but I think. We're going to uh, Z. Let's see what that looks like from a distance. There's a rose on the table. Now, um, unfortunately, the rose is going through the table. So I'm wondering if I can use the mesh grabber on that render settings tools. Rose. Come on, Rose. I just want it look like it's kind of so it doesn't look like it's totally going through the table. It's going to look like it to some degree. But, uh, let's see what happens. I don't think you'll see those leaves. But we could do something with them as well. Mesh grabber. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with these. No. I possibly could if I... No, edit undo. 
It's not going to be able to do much with that. Okay, we're just going to have to kind of hide them in the table. Um, I may have made it worse. I think I did. Okay, go back to here. Okay. It kind of got sat on, but you can tell that's a rose. All right, let's, let's see. Let's turn on our our grass and our ultra scene terrain there's one In the background save it again and let's click render and see what what it what we get here. It looks like their feet are going through the ground. It won't really matter because there is grass there and so but um we might have a problem there. I might have to shrink their legs. <laughs> what we got here what do we have Let's see. Speaking of tea, here we go. There's a rose there. I think I might have overdone it on the rose. And their feet are going through the ground. Um, look at this beautiful line there. I think the suits look nice. I want to give him a soul patch. I don't think the rose would be that bad if it goes through the table. Um, his saucer is hanging. Both of their saucers, I think, are hanging in midair. <laughs> He's going through the chair. All right, so uh, he might be as well. I don't think they have to sit all the way back. Okay. You can tell they're kind of used their drinking tea. All right, so we have a few things to fix. We got to fix the ultra scene. The ground has got to go down some. This looks beautiful in the background. We have a little bit more sky up here. It's going to be 
So our <laughs> so our uh, horizon is two thirds of the way up. <laughs> okay. So would you like to cancel this? Yes. Now if I can remember all the things that we've got to fix. I was thinking of giving him a soul patch. So, uh, when his face renders, it's going to be very nice. I'm going to leave his hair. I think we're going to keep his hair. Uh, we're going to fix the, the rose. I don't care if the rose goes down through the table, I guess. Okay, let's get rid of this. We got to turn this stuff back off. Uh, Ultra scene. Oh, we got to leave the ultra scene on. We'll turn the back one off. That will give us some, some, so we can move this ultra scene down. I should have been able to kind of see it. That the. X translate. Okay, edit, undo, undo. Okay, I can't really tell. Ow. I can't really tell what I'm doing here. Okay, I haven't put a light in the scene. There's no light in the scene, so my camera is lighting them. Okay, uh. So, I'm going to try this. Now, why? Okay, um, Chairs have got to be moved out. Chair. Chair. And the saucers. Okay, we're going to take the rose out for now. Hopefully I'll remember to put it back in. Okay. Teapot. Okay, this looks like it's a little high. Okay, and over here, this saucer was definitely in the air. Loading. Okay, now we have a problem with our table. It's not long enough. Ah, sneeze. All right, where's our table? Y. Y scale. We're going to do that, and then we're going to move it Y translate. Y scale. Did that work? Well, his leg is going right through the table, but you can't see it. Now maybe I can move his leg down. Bend. Uh, 
Okay. It's still going. Oh, this table's bugging me. Alright, um. It's gonna be like all table. Okay. from the camera view okay what have I forgotten here okay there let's um I'm gonna bring this IRA this terrain I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more why just because uh, I don't want their feet I don't want the grass so tall that it's coming up through their chair and all. All right, now let's take a look at this. Save this. I think his chair's got to come out some more. Chair. Okay, let's see what we got. Save this. And then I have to deal with, when you don't have a light in the scene like an actual and you haven't, thank you Angus for the looking good. Um, thank you very much. Now when you don't have a light in the scene, like you haven't added a spotlight or you haven't added a point light or any kind of light then your camera light turns on you can turn that off but it just turns on to help you so you can see what's going on um, until and the minute you put a light in the scene the camera light turns off and you can go in and turn that off so that it just doesn't go on when you don't have a light in the scene but it's it's there to kind of help So let's see uh, what this looks like. Let's go into render. And because I can see things a little more cl more precisely. Okay, but I don't have a light in the scene. So I'm thinking a radial light okay instead of a spotlight I have been told that a spotlight doesn't look um, natural that um, spotlights uh, how often do you have a spotlight in your world you know something that focuses light into a spot that you know a spotlight like what you have at the theater um, People don't have spotlights. They just don't. Um, they might have a radio like like a light with a, la a lamp with a shade on it or something like that. But and I don't. Um, I don't think this calls for like a. Okay, now their uh, feet look fine. They look like it. They're probably not. They're probably hanging in the air. But it looks like they're fine. 
You can't tell his legs going through the table. Um, and, uh, my, and my camera is lighting them. Okay, so uh, do I need that light? Let's, um, let's go and... Would you like to... Get, okay, and I didn't turn on the background. Cancel this render, so... But I got stuff to do, so... Um, I'm wondering if this saucer would sit be, be better um, if I just sat it flat on the table, but we'll see. Uh, okay, now... Um, camera. Okay, uh... Lights. I don't think it. Okay, my camera settings here. Uh, camera parameters. Camera somewhere here. I think it says something about turn on uh, headlamp off. Okay, headlamp mode on. On is auto. We're gonna turn. Auto means if there's no light in the scene. Okay, so headlamp mode off. Oh, I have my camera locked. Okay. Uh, edit. Object. Lock. Unlock. Okay. This is probably going to regret doing this. Turn this off. Now let's just see. Now you see <laughs> no light on them. Uh, just if I'm going to light the scene, I'm going to light it with something separate. Um, uh, so I can mo I don't know necessarily want the, cam the light coming from the camera. I might want it coming from above them. Or off to one side. I'm not sure. We'll see. So, uh, and I might want to use a spotlight. So, um, I don't think they're going to be totally dark in this scene. Because we do have, there's a sky, a 360 degree sky all around them. So, it's all a matter of where the sun is in the sky. There is a sun somewhere in the sky. And I can focus. I think I might use the sun instead to light them. We'll see, um, or f at least from an angle, so we get some shadows and things like that. So let's see now. Um, let's instead of uh, rendering, okay, we're going to turn this off. I'm going to lock my camera again because I don't think I want to mess with. Uh, um, I don't want to accidentally move it. Edit. Everything seems centered. It's not quite centered actually. This could probably go like this. And this could go like this. Let's get this uh, precise. Okay, that looks close. Edit. Object. We got the camera selected. Lock selected node. Okay. Now um, let's go into iRay. I think I'm going to... Uh, okay. Okay. I'm not going to turn on the ultra scenery yet, the, the background. I'm just going to go into iRay and see what it looks like. Um, iRay will tell me how my lights are. And then we'll move the sky around a little bit. We will have the grass on, but we just won't have the background on for now. Let's see what we have here. Oh, and I forgot my rose. All right, so we're going to uh, put the rose back in. Remind me about the rose. All right, let's see what this looks like in iRay. Come on. There we go. Now the sun is on the other side of them, so it's they. That's why we check our lights. Okay, environment options. Come on, give me back this. Okay. Ground origin. Ground dome rotation. Here it is. Okay, we got something here. Okay, let's rotate the dome a little. 
until we get some light on our guys. Now it's coming from the side, from behind. There we go. It's kind of strong. It's kind of washing them out. Which one? I, I, I think I'm going to want it coming at it like an angle, but which one am I going to want lit is the question. I kind of like that. Let's see what happens when we turn on our background scene. I could put a little light on him just to light, just to brighten him up a little bit. Let's see what this looks like. Come on, I Ray. There we go. And it's not going to show us our trees unless we render it. Okay. Um, I think I want him sitting into the chair a little bit more. I think he's kind of sitting up above it too much. And I think I should probably give him... his own uh, light, a light on him. Because I like the shadows and all from this angle. But I think he should just have a little light on his face. Okay, so um, we, n we need the rose. We're going to turn this back off. Let's go into uh, texture shaded mode. Put, we need a rose, we need a light. We need him sitting in the chair a little more. Texture shaded. Control L turns on a light. It's a um, texture shaded light so that I can see my scene. It's not that camera light though. It's all right now. Um, figure hey, Rocco. Where's Rocco? Okay, we're going to move you down into your chair a little more, Rocco. Okay. Well, just a tiny bit more. Okay, I think you look and look like you're sitting in the chair now. Uh, we're gonna get a spotlight. Spotlight. Spotlight up. Where's Rocco? Focus it on Rocco. You go back to the spotlight. Come up here. Let's just light his face a little bit. Why isn't that moving right? I want it to light his eyes. I don't want it to give him dark eyes. I 
Okay, now we go back to our camera. Save this again. Where's my rose? I think the ground's got to go down a little bit more again. Um, just a little bit more. Okay, now rose was my smart content. There's our rose. Let's just bring that's the rose with our. Okay, we're going to go select the rose. Rose. Bring it up. I'm such a romantic, I know. Okay, X. Z. Tell me that's going to be perfect. Rose. Perspective. We got to look. We can't just guess. Z. Rotate. Okay, I think that's going to work. Let's go a little more so it doesn't really interrupt. Okay, perspective, camera. Okay, the rows, you can notice the rows there. Save it. Okay, there was something else. I wanted to give him a soul patch. So let's go to uh, Rocco. Rocco. And we're going to go to Hair. Face. Like a little thing hanging there. Because it's kind of spiritual. Oh, let's get rid of the word rose. Let's turn off this ultra scenery X so we have uh, so we don't end up getting bogged down. Rocco. Okay, hair again. Okay, we're gonna go to face. And one of these, I think I've got a nice one that I don't have to do anything with. I have a few options for a soul patch, but I mean, for like, I don't know if there's a name for it. That's got every kind of beard and everything. There's a name for him. If I don't find what I'm looking for, I'll. I'll, I'll use a uh, beard, uh, beard thing, beard maker kind of thing. Oh, there's this right here, and there's this right there, soul patch. This may end up just looking like a shadow on his chin. Um, I don't think that's standing low, go low going low enough. Napoleon. Let's try this. That's a wearable. Napoleon. All right. Oh, 
I gave him eyebrows and a whole bunch of stuff. He's already got the most incredibly, like, overpowering eyebrows as it is, so... We may leave the... Okay, eyebrows can go. I think that looks nice. Um, let's uh, give this a quick render. Let's turn on our trees and everything and give it a quick render and see what every see what it looks like in reality. Oh, we gotta go into iRay and I gotta check this light and make sure that it's probably not shining anything right now. If I rendered it, he'd be in the dark again. Now our Ultra Scenery XT is turned off, which is good. The background. Uh, so, uh, so our eye ray should kick in fairly quick. Fairly quick. I, I, um, I, I, I do facial hair and, and all of this because I like my, f my male figures to, to kind of seem, uh, like they're with it, like they're, their participants and and they're not just being kind of uh that they're it's that they're very conscious and consensual about what they're doing and uh so this look how nice that looks on him now see this was really that was a good idea and we got a little bit of light on him but let's grab this uh light now uh it looks like the table is floating in the air. Everything looks like this. So the land is, the, the, the grass is too far down now. Everything's floating in the air. So we gotta fix that. Okay, just gotta bring the grass up some. Um, all right, so as soon as it gives me uh, some control here. All right, I think I've got control, the spotlight. Let's give this spotlight a little bit of warmth and some color, some, some power. All right, beam exponent, here we go. Let's go to eight. Okay. Let's see what that did. It might be a little high. It doesn't look like it lit him at all, but if it did, it's, uh, yeah, it did light him. That's good, but it's, uh, too, uh, too white of a light, and it's too strong, so we'll, uh, now you know why I picked him. Rocco has these, this red complexion. It's very nice of in, on him. Uh, so, uh, we're gonna go down here again. And, uh, I'm going to turn off this ultra scene terrain for a moment. Just so I can, uh, so it doesn't take so long to, uh, to render the, uh, light. I mean, to render for eye ray to kick in. All right, uh, it should be more instantaneous. Spotlight. Let's go down here again. All right, we're going to take this down to five and we're going to bring the temperature down some so it's not so blue blue light we want more of a of a orangey kind of red light softer Okay, let's see what that did. Now, eye ray should kick in. It shouldn't take so long for it to kick in. It, 
it's it's managing these large things like the grass and managing the um the assets that are in this um in this entire uh scene uh by turning them off and a and and so that uh come on come on i ray you can do it Okay, I may have to I might have to go into texture shaded. Oh, there it is. Okay. Still, I think he's still a little too white. To uh I think the the light might still be a little too bright. It's lighting him. It's doing what I wanted it to do. So, and that's another tip. You know, I I learned that tip from somebody in uh, some, from a uh, a tutorial on YouTube. Uh, so you have to you have to watch these YouTube tutorials on on Daz Studio, and then you have to incorporate them into what you do. And um, that was what this uh, was awesome tutorial talked about was about it had some kind of uh dystopian kind of scene and it was a, a fighter and it was in the middle of it like a kind of a wrecked city or something it's a sci-fi city or something that's still too too bright so we're just gonna it's the right temperature it's just too bright so we're gonna bring that down to about three and now it should come right back it shouldn't take so long to come back. Um, and that's what he said. You know, it's like that you, you set your lights up in the scene. And then if you see a dark spot on somebody's face where it's not quite lit up, then you use, uh, you know, uh, and what they suggested was using um, a, uh, a mesh light, a flat light kind of uh, a flat plane that lights and sometimes you can shine the mesh at something else that's reflective that will uh, dispuse, dis, uh, diffuse the light back onto your subject. Yes, you can do that kind of stuff here. Um, uh, so, uh, but I'm just, uh, I usually just go for a spotlight. And that's what I've also been told, that, that the spotlight is very um, unnatural. But it just, I just like the way it looks. Okay. Um, I think we're just going to go down one more to f to two. All right, now, uh, well, the only thing I can think we have left is now the sky is very um, boring. It just doesn't have any kind of real, it's nothing going on in the sky, but I kind of like it uh, because it's uh, clear skies, you know, okay, it's, it doesn't have, skies don't have to have clouds, they don't have to have anything going on, they don't have to have a sun, they don't have to have a moon, they can just be clear, and that's the way this sky is today, so, uh, it's clear, all right, now his face looks natural, it doesn't, it, you can see it, but it doesn't look, and once it clarifies and all, it doesn't look okay we got two five I think I'm gonna yeah it it's fine now it it doesn't look in the in the shadow and that's what's nice about it you can see it but it's uh, and it is a little bit in the shadow but you can see the detail you can see his mustache and his uh, little Napoleon I would never have remembered that but that's what that's called the with the little thin uh, pencil mustache with the little curls on the end. I, no, it doesn't have curls, just the straight out. 
And you can see these are all the names. Mutton Chops and Officer and Pioneer. <laughs> Victoriana. And Winfred. Yeah, these are cool. Somebody knows their stuff. Manchu. Full Beard. Fu Manchu. There's a Fu Manchu goatee. And then there's just the Fu Manchu. And then the Fu Manchu mustache. And the cop stash. And the cavalier. And, uh. Yeah, comic villain. Dapper. Yeah, somebody who made this really studied, uh, their. Uh, the soul patch. Uh, somebody really studied their, uh, face stuff to come up with all these cool names. And all. All right. So I like this. Okay. So now we're going to um, go back to uh, back to uh, texture shaded. We're going to turn back on our ultra scene. And we got to bring that up so that <laughs> they're not floating in the air. Ultra scene. Okay, there we go. Now let's save this. I think this is our guys. Now uh, we're gonna toss this rose in with our table, uh, table stuff, table and chairs and all that stuff, so that it's all together. The table and chairs and tea set and all that's one big happy little family and the figures are oh it didn't go in there all right let's see if that worked there it did that time it's still in the right place okay so that's our rose and I think I'm gonna move the rose over a little bit I think that works. So it's a little more in the center. Center. Uh, save that. Okay, let's turn on the ultra scenery. I, I'm as you've noticed this time that I'm I'm rend I'm actually going in and doing little spot renders. Where I'm at, not spot render. Spot render is where you just r render a little spot. Um, but and you use this tool to spot render. But um, uh, you draw a square around an area, and you click on that, and then you draw a square, and it renders that little square. Okay, uh, but I, I have the render settings set really low, uh, small, so it renders a small image. So it doesn't take forever to uh, for it to come up and render. Um, so uh, this, I think, is done. I think this image is done. So I, I wanted to kind of um, go all the way through and show you how um, this is usually when it, Daz messes up. <laughs> is uh, here and <laughs> right when I'm about ready to render. Because this is a massive massive scene just look at all of the the trees in this scene there's probably there's probably a few uh, thousand trees and then there's probably um and there's probably about 10,000 blades of grass uh and then there's little flowers there are little like flowers and i don't know uh dandelions whatever i so um you know it would be nice would be to put to to lay a bunch of dandelions here um i think they would be kind of pretty but yes or no on the dandelions <laughs> we might as well push this like all the way to <laughs> they would be kind of nice wouldn't it uh so um all right let's see what this looks like we're gonna take a look
we're gonna take a look now it looks like they're like oh look at that look at how beautiful that is it looks like they're in in like in Greece or something and let's see what their feet look like yeah the table and chairs they it, it looks like the tables the table and chairs are actually they're still they're still floating on uh, I think what I've got to do is make the ta the chairs longer like the table okay because they're not on the ground the bros looks okay it just looks like it's kind of flat it doesn't really look like it's going through the table um, the the tea and the the sauce that the, these are look they're in shade but they're okay this is what's really nice here is this this sun look like the sun is setting and the it's the illusion like the sun is bouncing off this and bouncing on and lighting his face uh, that's the kind of uh, thing that we've got going on here oh, that's beautiful yeah so uh yeah we have some really really beautiful characters here so uh yeah i don't know which one is nicer so i have to fix the chairs okay would you like to cancel yes and it's writing the lighting the rose i really daz you gotta make us some some roses i i i think i might have seen roses uh then didn't buy them i don't know uh, we need some r romantic. I, I saw a bunch of roses. It was like a whole, like a round. That would have been too much. I just wanted one rose here. But um, we need some roses. I I know I'm asking like a lot. Um, it'd be nice to have some roses. Okay, we've got to do these chairs. They've got to go Y scale. Why translate? Why scale? Okay, we went to 115. Why translate? Okay, let's do this one. Why scale? And why translate? Okay, uh, let's see if that works. Save it. That just brought this up. Now this, this might be a problem because it may um, these these this because uh, it may cause the light to not shine on his face of this so we'll see uh, let's see what happens. oh this chair has got to go down more the chair he's going right through it uh, why you got to pay attention here okay Save it. Okay, let's try again. Let's uh, take this. Uh, um, where's our. What happened to my gr land? Oh no. What? I bet I dragged it and put it in here. Ultra scene. Unparent. I don't know how it got in there. I must have dragged it there. All right, now we're going to bring this up a little bit more. Okay, so things don't look like they're floating. And I may end up with the grass too high. Um. Save it, because if the grass is too high, it'll go right through their chairs. But I just raised, well, I didn't really raise their chairs. In fact, I lowered this part. 
made them kind of elongated. Okay, let's see what we got. Some more tea! Pour some more tea. Okay. Let's see what we have. How are we doing? Now there's a way I can redirect. I can do, um, I can uh, redirect uh, my video from my other channel. And so once I learn to redirect, um, I may have a lot of people coming in and going, coming and going in these, uh, th in these, uh, I kind of don't know if I really want to do that because a lot of the people that are in my, I don't think they're, you know, really that, uh, into 3d art and sitting around here for an hour and all, but some of my friends would, would develop an interest because I think they would just be interested in, uh, like I Robin I haven't seen Robin in a while and Monty I think it was that we had some we had I for a while I had some fans coming in and watching our uh here we go okay it looks like the chairs are going now they're on the, in the grass okay I don't even dare look at their feet because uh I'm afraid that I know the grass is going right through their shoes but Okay, I think we've got something here. I think we've got it. Yeah, I think this is uh, ready to render. I think what we're going to do is... Uh, I think we're going to... Uh, and this isn't blocking the light. It's coming from high enough in the sky. The sun isn't setting that. It's not. And I really like this. This duo tone. This kind of brownish sky that turns into the. This really clear bluish sky. And these little dots and all. Those are going to rectify. That's going to become so clear. I just wonder. Um, I wonder if I should. Uh and his face is bright enough I think having him a little bit in the uh, in the uh, in shadow is good so at least his, his face isn't black like you know just shat completely gone like it was you know I could put little teeny lights on these and all but I think they're fine. I could put a little dish with a uh, cake on it here. Some crumb cake. Um I wonder if I should make that mustache just a little bit lighter. I'm wondering if it wouldn't show up as much. And he's got dark eyes. He's just got very dark facial hair and light hair. So it's that's just the way he is. Um, so I, I think I like it that way. I think I'm going to leave him that way. Maybe he die, dyes it to make it darker. Uh, his eyebrows and all just gonna leave his hair it looks fine some usually it doesn't but in this particular case we got the leaves going right oh I know what I can do I can just cut those leaves right off they look like they're going right through the table okay so um, I don't think it hurt to lighten that his beard just a tiny bit so it just kind of stands out a little too much. Um, all right, what else have we got here? 
Okay, so we got the rose petals. Those are got to just be turned off. I used to delete them. Now I just hide them. So, uh, okay, so uh, would you like to cancel this render? Yes. I think the next time I come into this render, it's going to be uh, for, uh, okay, let's turn off this. We got the grass working, so uh, we're going to turn off our ultra scenery grass. Okay, so we can, uh, we don't need that on either. Okay, so we're going to go to our, f uh, first the rose. See if I can grab it. There it is. Okay, figure that would be in the table. Okay, it's thinking. All right, here's our rose. Okay, now we're going to go into tools, tools, geometry editor. You can't have the rose petals like that going like that. Uh, you just can't. You have to do something. You have to do something with them. They're just going right through the table like this. You got to do this. Can it select connected? Up. Oh, it didn't work. We're going to just go like this then. We're going to do these. And I think I can flip around to the other side and zoom in. Up. Hold the, I'm holding the control key here. We got to get both sides or else it will just still show. Hold the control key. Up. Okay. What uh, what did I do here? Okay. What did I do? Okay, now we don't, I don't, um, okay, I don't, now I don't, uh, I just hide them, I don't delete them, geometry selection, visibility, Hide selected polygons. Okay, now we got another spot here. This didn't work perfectly. Now we got little holes there, but it's okay. Um, I think it's okay. From a distance, it's better than the, the leaves going through the table. We have another leaf going through the table here. This leaf has got to go. All right, we'll just work on it in little patches. Okay, geometry selection. When you hide it, it does. It's not as. It's not as. Um, destructive to the plant because it's uh, where is our leaf here it is damn okay I think I can turn that back on by going like this no I can't see a darn thing here. What am I doing? 
by making it worse. I don't think I needed to get rid of this, but... Alright, right click, geometry visibility, hide selected polygons. Okay, I think we've got something here. These little pieces have got to go. I'm wondering if this leaf has got to go as well. It's not really connected to anything. Let's go like this, selection mode, lasso. Go like this. Right click geometry. Visibility. Okay. I still see little pieces. You got to join it together. Geometry selection. Visibility, hide selected polygons. I'm wondering if you could see that, but it's still there. There we go. Geometry, uh, visibility, hide. There we go. I'm not sure why our little dot is still stuck there. Okay, this looks okay. And we have a leaf, but now what happens when we go here? All right, it looks natural. We've got a we've got a leaf, but we don't have one. At least it's not completely going through the table. Um, ah, we can go to tool settings. Da, 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 da. I'm such a darned stickler with this. Um, I can't see what I'm doing. Is this, did we get it? What is that? We've got another piece of a leaf here coming up through that I didn't get rid of. Oh darn. Okay. We're going to leave it like that, but we're just going to take and cut this piece here. Geometry uh, editor, not cut it. We're going to uh, select the rows. There we got it. Geometry visibility. Hide. Okay. That's close enough. It could be kind of folded over. <laughs> and we got some more of this leaf down here. We could just kind of go like that. Geometry. Visibility. Hide selected polygons. Be gone polygon. What is this? Oh, it's some kind of what in the heck is that? It's a measurement thing of some sort. Some kind. All right. There's another measurement thing. Okay. Let's click these and that should go away. 
All right, let's go back to our camera view. All right, save this. Now, it when you when you hide them, it uh, saves quick. If you delete those parts off the rows, it will take a lot longer to save. It like has to. It's uh. You just have to make sure you don't click on the rows and unhide it, because it will un you can easily unhide it. Okay, now let's go back to the perspective view. Let's take a look at this, guys. Uh, it does really blend with his face. It's just a little bit dark, so let's go to our figures. Rocco. And figures. Oh, come on, it's taking its time. Come back. There we go. Figures. Okay, where is the... Okay, these are... Uh, we got two things. We got the handlebar mustache and the soul patch to deal with. So we'll go to smart content. Okay, we got materials. We're all right. We're right here. We're styling. Okay. Uh, okay, red over the must. Harry. Oh, we got all kinds of options here. Black, black, chestnut and brown. See, that's what I haven't liked about this particular set is that uh, and it did them both. Let's uh, take a look at our camera view. And uh, let's give this a render. We, we'll give it a render, but we just won't turn the, the background and the grass on. It'll actually render much faster. Oh, we got three likes. Thank you. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. If it's just a little bit lighter. Yeah, it's, that's better. It's not quite as dark. It's better. I, um, I'm going to double check and make sure the soul patch changed as well. Okay, we'll go to the soul patch and click on this brown just to make sure. And we change the soul patch as well. All right. Save this. Okay. What was it we just fixed? We fixed those. Uh, we fixed the stems going through the table. And uh, we fixed uh, his soul patch color. And uh, so now we can turn back on the background. I think... What we're going to do, I'm ready to render, so we're going to turn on Ultra Scene. And I, ha I always, ho I have to hold the control key because when I turn these things on and off, okay? Because if you don't hold the control key, it'll only turn on the top part and it, all the things that are inside and underneath, it won't turn on. So to turn them on and off, and that's why when you click on the rows here, you don't want to hide that rows and, you know, click on the, and because if you turn it, if you hold the control key and turn it back on, it will turn back on all the leaves that I that I hid. So um, that's why I usually w used to delete things because then they're gone and I don't have to worry about accidentally turning them back on. But um, it just I've just found that it it's so destructive to the rows that it uh, to the object that um, 
it causes DAS to kind of work weird. And so uh, now I could change Rocco. I could take his eyebrows off, and um, I have other eyebrows I could use. But those eyebrows, they're painted on. They're just so beautiful. There's, they're just, they're, they've been the artwork that went into his eyebrows. They're just so thick and and beautiful. Um, the way they they fit so well on his face. So, and he still has his painted on eyebrows as well. And they both have. They're both just. They're getting better at those painted on eyebrows. They just, uh, they look so really well. Or mesh. I'm not sure the. They're uh, they're painted on so uh, but they uh, they look so good that um, not I would say 90% of the time I change them but I'm not going to change Rocco's eyebrows they look so good on him right now I've changed them before and they were eh, at least they were real I mean they were real like uh, uh, um, strand based eyebrows so they actually stick off and they're like made of little teeny hairs and stuff but um sometimes they just don't quite uh especially from a distance they don't quite look as good so now we got to turn on okay ultra scene the ground is on okay this is on so we're going to save this again all right everything's turned on everything's ready uh i don't see any problems with this now at all it's you look and you say well this is kind of a simple scene it's just uh, some some ground and and you take table and chairs and you know but that you think of what went into this I have been working on this three and a half hours so uh, all right so we're going back and now we're going to go into our render settings we're ready uh, to do a, a nice render uh, I'm going to do this ten thousand. 10,000 by 5,625. If you ever wonder what 16 by 9 at 10,000 is, that's what it is. 10,000, 10,000K, 10,000 P or whatever. All right, is 10,000 by 500 and 5,625. It's almost 6,000. So 10,000 by 6,000 is 16 by 9 all right we're going to go into progressive renders maximum samples maximum time render quality up to 7 and I'm going to tell you that uh, another thing is that um, I've decided these tone mapper options and all of that um, I'm just not going to use them anymore uh, because uh, I have like so many filters in Photoshop and I can I can do the same kind of filtering uh, in Photoshop more precisely and so um, I'm just not gonna uh, do you know do tone map the image um, when it, I can do it afterwards uh, in Photoshop and do it much better so Um, you see, you know, you look at the rose and you say, well, who's the rose for? And, well, I would say the rose is for the person who can most easily pick it up. And so I would say it's for him because he can reach, he, it looks like you know you wouldn't set the rose down backwards so it was now he may may have brought the rose and he has set it down and you know uh, on the table uh, but he is definitely the one who has handled the rose okay and I when I put my mouse over that I still have leaves down there I didn't get them but the, you can't see them. They're, they're hidden. They've been chopped off, and they're just hidden under the table. That's all that matters, really, in, when it comes down to it. But um, oh, they may they may actually be showing. They're hidden, but they're showing. Um, I don't know. When I put my mouse over, they're still hidden, but they're showing. I don't know. Um, okay, it's saved. So we're gonna go here, and we're just gonna click render, and hope uh, all hell doesn't break loose. This is where we're going to find out 
if there are any serious problems um, because now I'm rendering it at 10,000 okay it's not I was rendering and I could see a lot of stuff but um, this is going to be really pretty large it's not as large as I was rendering stuff but it's pretty large so um, we're gonna and we're gonna leave it rendering I I don't think I'm gonna find any problems because we have been jumping in and out of uh, of uh, rent we've been rendering and I've been noticing stuff and I usually can tell when there's something like a hand or something I know what kind of conditions that's gonna uh, cause uh, the only problem is we haven't seen I haven't seen his uh, goatee with it rendered it could en end up being like bright orange or something and uh, that wouldn't be good and because uh, you just never know what it's really gonna really do when you actually go to render it with colors and and all so uh, we're gonna uh, find out about his goatee is uh, Napoleon okay let's see this is gonna take a while before we get to our first iteration I don't believe that there is enough see it hasn't even gone to iteration it won yet uh, it should move pretty fast but um, I've done everything to to minimize the amount of memory this requires to render and that like when I like when I clicked and I was doing set making this I clicked it so it would set up the camera so it only put trees where the camera was looking and things like that okay there's our iteration one let's see how long it takes to go to iteration two that will give me some kind of idea of how long this is gonna take uh, it's taking a while to go to iteration two come on iteration two There's a possibility my uh, computer's rendering it instead of the graphics card. And the way to fix that is to close DAS down. Because all of this stuff can kind of end up getting uh, orphaned in the RAM and it can uh, of the graphics card. It can leave these things that aren't really like attached to anything. It just this is a long time it's like it's like my uh, graphics card is rendering it instead of like my uh, it's like my graphics card isn't rendering it it's being rendered by the no GPU CPU no it's not being rendered by the graphics card it's being rendered by the CPU and I can't do this I have to close this down that what's happened is little orphans have lend ended up filling up my gra my RAM okay and so I have to close this down and uh, you look at look how long it's taken just for two iterations and watch what happens when we come back alright so we're gonna cancel this I can't let this it would take a day for this to render um, if I uh, if I tried to render this in um, with my CPU look how nice these rocks look oh my gosh look at this look at this that's beautiful my gosh and yes that 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 doesn't look too orange it's okay alright so we're gonna close that 
we have it saved we're just gonna close this save it okay we'll save it again again and uh, we're gonna hopefully when I come back it will load again all right now uh, what I'm gonna do is restart my computer restart I have to restart the computer and clean out and clear out my graphics RAM and so in restarting it is the sure way to just clear it out it's got stuff stuck in there um, and that stuff is going to uh, um, it's going to it's then then when I go to render it the scene won't fit into the RAM it won't fit because there's stuff in there and uh, and so all right I have to turn off my hand cam so I can type in a my pin number no signal we should be back soon You know, I wonder if bow ties and stuff might have been. You know, going with a, a, a really formal, you know, tuxedo kind of thing. Might have even been a little better than the casual suits. So, uh. Okay. Hand cam is off. All right, we're back in. Got to wait a moment for everything to load up. And then we're going to open DAS. I don't have a name for this. I'm thinking T for two. All right, I think we got it going on here. Just going to wait till everything loads. And uh All right. Let's open Daz. If worse games comes to worse, I might have to uh, cut something out of the scene, and it might end up being the tall grass. So that is just low grass. Um, all right, files. So we're going to open recent. Okay. We're just going to hit render as soon as we come in here. Now it always does that. It says two item, items succeeded, one item failed. I'm not sure what that. I, I have to read the log to find out what's going on there. So I, I think I'll figure that out um, at some point. What item is failing? Because everything seems to be still working. Um, so it should take us into our camera view. Now it's going to take like a long time for it to load. But it's loading fresh into the memory. It's uh, loading so that it's... Uh, you have to really, you know, if I had a second graphics card and they're only like $1,600 if I had two because I could put two of them in my computer if I had a second one, um, then I could join them together and I wouldn't run into this. I wouldn't have this problem. Because uh, even if there was orphan stuff in the RAM, there would still be enough 
room to hold this scene in the RAM. So, uh... I'm getting tired. It's nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. All right, we're, we got some. That loaded pretty fast. I've had some that have taken a lot longer to load. Um, of this type of scene with the the, uh, the uh, Ultra scene, Scenery XT. <laughs> I mean, it's bad enough putting an Ultra Scenery um, scene in your uh, in your scene you know in your scene but then to put an ultra scenery xt at the same time you've really got to just like it like i did always keep shutting things off and shutting things off all right we're going to wait until it all settles down everything i we're we're in our camera view is just like the way we saved it um we're going to just wait we're not in iray which is, which is good Okay, we're going to... I don't think everything's settled yet. I'm just going to wait until it's all completely... It seems like everything's loaded. And all. And then we're going to hit uh, render. And this should render. And our render settings, we're still at 10,000 by 5,625. All of that still image. Yeah, everything is red when. All right, we have a scene light. Okay, I'm going to click it. Here we go. Let's see if it goes in now if the graphics card renders it rather than the. That opened pretty quick. Um, let's see if the graphics card renders it rather than the CPU we need the GPU to render it not the CPU when the GPU renders it um, it uh, it's like much faster okay so we gotta watch this now see how long it takes for our first for our first The first one can take a while, but it's the second one you want to watch for. If the second one, uh, the second iteration happens kind of quick, then you, then that's an indication you're probably rendering it with your... Uh, okay, it's been a win minute, but it's still, uh, it's still putting... Trying to figure out the whole pre-image pre stuff. And like I said, if this doesn't work, I'm going to have to take something out of the scene. Um, going to have to take something out. And it's not going to work to like take the table out or take his mustache off. Or it's got to be something in the ultra scenery thing. like some trees or something and uh, what you know all if you notice everything here is wireframe and then it's got these images wrapped around the wireframe it's not the it's not the wireframe that takes up the you know the uh, the memory it's the images that are wrapped around it it's the pictures there's so many pictures as the picture on every single blade of grass and a picture on every single tree and um, that's what makes them there's a picture on the water or there's pictures on his on their shirts and coats and the table and it's it's the pictures that take up okay that was one one iteration come on Okay, I may, uh, my render settings might have gotten reset. I don't know. Because this isn't uh, rendering with. Uh, it might be set. I might have set it when I reset the. the, the uh, 
It could have gotten set to CPU. I don't know. This is a control alternate delete. Because this is not uh, rendering with the CPU, GPU. All right, where did that go? Okay, I don't see it. Where is it? It's definitely not rendering with the GPU. Yeah, see the CPU is at 100%. It shouldn't be doing anything. And the G GPU is at 2%. 1%. So that's not rendering with the GPU. It's probably shut off. Something got canceled. Okay, cancel that. I probably should have looked at my render settings. It took four minutes just to do two iterations, and it's got to do a thousand. So, uh, something's wrong here. Let's go here. Something reset. No, it's set to GPU. All right, so I've got to take out some some grass. Control L. All right, we're gonna go into here. Base grass layers. Okay, we got oak. Oh, these oak seedlings. They could go. That might be enough. Let's just delete them. All right, let's see if the oak seedlings are enough to to give us a uh, to have it go into our uh, graphics now. All right. Come on. Let's see what we're doing. All right, rendering. I forgot about those trees that were all... There weren't that many, but it could be just enough to allow this... Uh, there's a way to look up and, and find out exactly how much uh, your scene takes up in the, in the video RAM. Uh, so... Uh, rendering let's see okay the grass tufts layers we have 3,000 grass tufts um, I am really surprised this is happening but we'll know if it just goes one and then waits a moment and does two and then waits a moment and does three then it's rendering with the graphics card it can take a long time before the first iteration comes out but um, after that the second and third and fourth and all should just come out pretty quick within like 10 seconds of each other or, or less that's the usual. Come on. Tell me it's working. There's one. It's probably not enough. No. Control alternate delete. 
I'm quite certain we're not rendering with our You know, it took me, like, I had to learn all this stuff. Well, not all of it. I did did uh, have people help me on the Cakewalk forums, but uh, it took a while before I knew what, a what questions to even ask, you know, on the forums. So this, uh, this is definitely still, yeah, CPU is it 95 percent okay that was number two now it's going back up to 90 again yep okay close that why do i keep closing that cancel this cancel the render okay we're gonna uh i'm wondering uh Okay, we got this really kind of gnarly grass here. Let's, uh, let's, uh, long grass layer. I'm not sure which one is which. So let's turn off this. And, uh, let's go into, uh, iRay. And start turning off some of these layers. Okay, which one is the long grass? Long grass layer. This is why I need another graphics card. Because I wouldn't have this problem at all. I would. Um, but I'd have to bank. But that's like. Um, that's like a thousand six hundred dollars. To get it for, to, for another graphics card. And they would both work together. Okay. All right. I'm wondering about uh, turning off the tufts as well. Well, I guess the tufts are okay. They don't they look a little bit kind of suspicious down here, but when you look at them sort of from the side, they're okay. So, let's try this with the long grass layer turned off. Save this. It looks a little cleaner. A little neater. Our scene looks a little neater without all that tall grass kind of coming in and uh doing its thing so let's see if this will let us render this now it should we just took out 3960 objects If this doesn't work, I'll have to render it smaller. I won't be able to render it at 10,000. One thing that I'm doing, because normally I render more of a square instead of this long wide thing. And uh, I'm not, I'm wondering if that's adding more pixels doing it wide like this let's see what happens because if this doesn't work there's not I can't take out more grass I could take out the um, the the I, c I can try taking out the 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 grass tufts layers I was going to add dandelions. <laughs> Imagine. Okay, there's one. Let's see. Is this going to pass this off to the 
CP, GPU. Come on. All right, I think we're going to have to take out the 3,000 grass tufts layers as well. Well, that was quicker. I think it might be rendering with it. Yep, it's rendering with the GPU now. Look at that. See? And we're at 9, 10, 11. See, that's the difference between the CPU rendering and the GPU. That the, these scenes are made for the GPU to render. Okay? They're made for that kind of thing. So, uh... So now we should have a really beautiful, and it's very large. We're going to have this large image. And you have to kind of uh, mess with it until you get it right. Here's our tea, guys. And the teapots. The tea, they, this uh, teapot was from their grandmother. From his grandmother. Look at that. It matches his hair very well. Now, I wasn't I I just didn't want to uh, and look his his eyebrows look like they actually do stand off. So um I don't know maybe he does have fiber uh maybe they I think they might be fiber mesh. They're not um strand based. See those look painted on. But still uh they're very beautiful. Look at this. Look at this beautiful beard here. This this is really, really nice. It's beautiful. Uh, my artwork is uh it's just it's because of these models, because the models they're improving on these models so much more that it's look at the, the, the smooth texture in his his neck. It doesn't look like alligator skin, you know, it just it looks really nice and 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 his hand kind of looks like it's going through the cup but I don't think it is so uh, the cup has a perfect kind of roundness it looks like his fingers going through but I think that's just the round I quite sure his hand you can't tell you can't tell and uh, let's see what's going on with his hand and good at least his finger his other hand is under that okay a little bit of hair there and it's a little bit of a this this looks unnatural oh that's where I stretched it remember it's okay remember I had to stretch that and I pulled that right out of um, I pulled that pattern right out you, you have to notice stuff like that. Now it looks like he's sitting nicely on the chair. It doesn't look like his suit is doing anything really bad. He looks like he's sitting right in the chair. But I th I'm going to leave that. I think I could have pulled this chair down. Yeah, I could have pulled this chair. We're going to pull that chair down more. He's uh, He's sitting in the chair <laughs> cancel this yes this is where you've got to fix things okay there was a problem with uh, I think there's not a I don't think there's a problem with that cup um, and I'm not gonna fix the suit part I think that's okay it's just he's sitting in the chair rather rather than on the chair <laughs> And it, it's not going to matter. I mean, that that we just had, I was probably up to 100 uh, iterations by then. So that's not going to matter. We're just going to click on this chair. All right, we're going to go out of eye ray. So the long grass tufts. Texture shaded. Okay, we got to fix this. OK, 
Okay, the chair. Okay, I'm going to look at this up close. Take me to the chair. Okay. And the chair's got to come back a little more, I think. And he's fine. Okay, now we're going to go back to our camera view. We're going to save this. I keep thinking dandelions, that I'd love to have a few dandelions in this. Um, but we just got it to, uh, to work. So, uh, I think we're going to just go with it, uh. Yeah, I think it would just be too overdone. Uh, okay, we want a little bit of a little bit of cl cleanness and simplicity, and I, I want to look at this chair again. Now, what you can do with this stuff is. Uh, Take this chair, tools, mesh grabber. You can grab that chair a little bit, make the mesh a little bigger. And pull this down a little bit so that it looks like he's pushing the chair down a little bit. So it's not, uh, okay, that looks horrible, <laughs> but I'm not sure what's causing that, but when you go out of Mesh Grabber, it goes away, and that's all, it's like the auto follow, click kicks back in, and I wish there was a way to get rid of this, this hair is really nice, but the back, um, I kind of wish, uh, I just wish I had the option of turning that off. Um, camera, okay, go back to the camera, save this, and uh, all right, so well, it looks like we got it. Now, his chair. is going through the ground. Oh, that's because this kind this ground isn't flat. It's not perfectly flat. It's um and I probably should have just made it flat, you know, but it's not perfectly flat. So, uh that could be oh. Well, what I could do is uh I don't want to deal with, I don't want to mess with it anymore, but I'm afraid that's not going to look right. He's been a problem all through because of his leg going through the table. It's just been problem after problem. And uh, I'm not going to mess with it. I think we're going to see if it works. Save this. 
I'm hoping I don't have any more orphans in the memory. Because all I need is a couple of orphans and this won't fit in the memory again. And I'd have to restart the computer. But at least we know it fits when... When we clean the memory out. Okay, okay, okie dokie. So that's going to be it. Four hours and ten minutes. I think we got it. Let's see what our... Uh, it's over here now. I must have dragged it there. I don't think I did. All right, so uh, let's see. There's one, iteration one, two. Whoa, it's just boom, boom, boom right through it. It's like I shut something off. The background is the, the background. What, something's wrong. Yeah, the background's off. Cancel. Maybe that's why it rendered. Would you like to cancel this render? Yeah. We don't have our background on. When did I turn that off? Maybe that's why it rendered the last time. I didn't notice the background was gone. All right, let's bring this ultra scenery. Turn that back on. Save it. Okay. Maybe that is why it rendered. No, it rendered really quick that time, so it it's going to render. I got a fruit fly. All right, maybe this will show up in the right place now. At least it usually shows up on the other side. No, it's over here now. Well, I guess I can move it back. It at least lets me do that. All right, let's watch this and see if it jumps in through our iterations quickly. Uh, another idea is having them... Uh, is using this and like having them sit in this room with like bay went look at it going it's going fast now this three four so it's rendering it it's now it's rendering in our is like having them sit in a like a lush room with bay windows and having this this in the background through the window so uh yeah there's that you where you wouldn't have to use ultra scenery for the ground you could use like a a house they could be sitting inside of a house. Um, so where is our uh, uh, render now? Let's see where we are now. Look at the, the quality there in this. And uh, let's see what our water looks like. He's got water behind him. That's going to render so beautifully. It's far away. That's why the, the waves are so tiny. So, uh, but if you got closer, the closer you get to it, the more you, you're going to see that these trees are very low um, resolution. But it's still pretty high resolution for... Um, for... Uh, like for for this distance this is really 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 nice it's like perfect these rocks look so real they didn't look real uh the artwork here this is this is amazing artwork you know this is just really nice work really nice and that I have so many different kinds of ground and different plant different trees that 
you know this one is slightly on the tropical there's some palms mixed in with uh, so it's a little bit uh, of a mix it's not just the deciduous he looks good his hair looks good yeah so uh, you see he's you know he's uh, about a year older um, of a model so I bought him about a year ago and uh, I bought him just like yesterday or the a few days ago so you can see that he just has a little bit more um, going on for him his eyes are almost cartoonish a little bit but uh, he's still a very beautiful that's why I picked him he's still a very his skin is has has like little imperfections he's got little red, red spots on his back like freckles he's got little freckles and stuff he's he's still a very good uh, um, but it, it's it's not every figure that comes out is always better than the last um, it all depends on the artist and all but um, this figure is absolutely I am so I think everybody who's bought him is is just saying oh my god just uh, he's he's awesome but I kind of do that with every figure that I buy um, every male figure that I buy it's like oh my gosh um, this is the best ever you know and um, so but I think I'm gonna be using this guy for a lot of stuff now I took, you know, I took and and dialed down his his features and I dialed his features down. So um uh I dialed them down a little bit. And uh and I like his lip color. I think his lip color seems a little more natural. But it's the it's the way this guy looks. He's got this reddish, ruddy complexion. He's lighter skinned. He's definitely lighter skinned. You look at the back of his neck. He's lighter skinned than this guy is. He's he's darker. And so, but they're both Genesis eight one figures. So uh, they're both uh, of the same uh, model so to speak a figure the latest the latest and the most advanced figure so all right we're just going to let this render now uh i don't think this uh this some that's his uh i just thought he had a hole in his shirt but i think that's his uh his napkin coming out of his pocket unless he's got one on this side and that's going to screw up no it's on that side that's his napkin and uh and his chair which is up with his chair his that's the table here's his chair his chair is buried in the sand in the dirt but it's okay you can't really notice it his you you can see isn't but i don't think people are going to notice that So, uh, and he's, uh, sitting better on the, uh, chair than he was. So, all right. I think, um, I think this is, this is really beautiful. You know, the, the, the games that I play, the, you know, the, the Alexios and the, the, the textures, you know, you might think, oh, that kind of looks like that Greek game, you know, the uh, the Odyssey game with Alexios. This is much higher, higher, much, much, much higher quality. Um, although they do a lot of tricks like atmosphere effects, um, I if I tried to put um, some fog in here or something, um, 
I may have run into uh, some problems. You know what would have been really nice is just a few birds in the sky. So it's just empty. So, uh, but there again, it might have been just too much. You know, it might have detracted from the scene too much. Uh, maybe some birds like way down in here, you know, flying. Uh, so they weren't so, so, so noticeable. But um, I just don't want to detract from it now. Uh, look at this. It looks just like fabric. So we have some nice textures. These chairs could have been kind of on the old style where they might have looked this just looks definitely like fabric and that's that's another reason why um, these why this it looks like like paint that's been it was some kind of wash that's been put over the paint this is really very nice artwork so uh, it, it, this doesn't look uh, like old-school uh, stuff it, it this all looks like it has um, a nice um, up close sometimes it looks something there's usually something in the scene that I've used that is uh, old school and uh, nothing in the scene everything has really nice quality I wish I hadn't done that to that his coat I could probably fix it by just putting it taking it off him and putting the coat back on uh, fresh but that's okay I could actually go in and with Photoshop and then and just uh, um, I can fix that in Photoshop. So uh, just uh, copy this and and clone it over top of that. And there's a good possibility I could fix that. So we'll see. I might try um, and see. I can fix this scene. Just clone this seam right straight down into there we shall see uh, what I probably should have done instead of stretching the outer coat I should have clicked the shirt on inside and pushed it in instead of pulling on this fabric so uh, that's what I should have done and there's there are some possible problems with this okay notice how they're sitting on their coattails that's not natural uh, their coattails would have kind of sat like and so um, that could have been fixed and this looks the way the Sun's hitting it it makes it look a little bit kind of flat and 2d so but I don't know that I would have been able to fix that much unless I put some kind of thing here it's just the way it's gonna look uh, so it looks a little bit flat so all right I think that's gonna do it we're going to uh, let this render how many iterations are we at right now? 178. It's been 11 minutes, so it's probably going to be about two hours. I'll let that sit for about two hours. And then, and then it will be done. And this is going to be called 2 for T. Okay, and this... Look at the rose going right through the table. I told you. <laughs> but uh, that's the way it is. I couldn't do it. I couldn't figure. I couldn't fix the rose. I, I did squish it. <laughs> it looked, I way overdid it. I mangled it. So, But I probably could have done something to fix the rose. This doesn't look too bad. It's not an eye ray rose. And, you know, I thought... I thought I deleted those stems off. There they are. They're back. So, uh, I thought I got rid of these. Uh, so, s that's why I sometimes, um, that's why I, I delete them instead of hiding them. Because all I have to do is accidentally um, click on something and they come back. And, uh, so, but that's the way it is. That's, and I don't know, I don't think this, look, this bend has a bend in it. So when I stretch that leaf up, that's still there. Okay, but it's the, uh, they just turned themselves back on. They unhid themselves. 
and I'm not sure what caused that, but and this looks kind of like it's sitting into the table a little bit. It doesn't have a pedestal like those. It just is flat on the bottom. So, but it it maybe could have come up a hair, you know. Um, I don't know. So, but it's okay. I'm just really I pick everything apart. I really do. So, uh, like this, people aren't gonna notice that. Maybe he took. Maybe sometimes fabric does that. It just frays a little bit you know right before it rips so um, now these little notice these little squares in here if I had added um, uh, and I may have enough other suits I'm I this may have not be the suits that I just bought so uh, I'm not sure that they are but um, if they're not, then this, then I have like a lot better suits. But uh, I don't think these these still worked. They work really well for them. So okay, so that's gonna do it. All right, I'm gonna go and eat. Oh, we got four likes. Wow. So somebody else just came in, and uh, and I'm all done. So uh, yeah, this is our um, our new. It's two for tea, and they're having some tea. These two guys are uh, having some tea together. And uh, so, yeah, thank you for the likes. And this is Rocco. And this is, I can't remember his name now. Uh, begins with a B. Bruce? No. Uh, so, uh, I can't remember his name. Where did, What is his name? Rocco and Bruce. Yeah. I, wow. I did remember his name. So. Yeah, Rocco and Bruce, and uh, we got them. Uh, we got them here. And they're having tea in their in Grandma's teapot, and uh, so it's very old teapot. So um, yes, and so we and we we've used uh, Ultra Scenery XT in the background so if you want to want some tips on using Ultra Scenery XT watch this video from the beginning and um, it's the first probably quarter of the video the first hour of the video that I work with Ultra Scenery look how this beautiful this is now this is the um, coastal area, so we're we're looking here and see this is the area that it draws up, and I, and there is erosion and things like that. I think that may have something to do with those seams to make some of these areas look um, more uh, m even more re realistic. How they sometimes erode and and all into uh the, the 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 different the change of the water but it still looks like there's a there's some kind of shoreline here it doesn't look like it's just like cutting off the water it looks like there's something a rim there and that's what's really 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 important so uh yes so we are um and this is where our grass this grass I kinda wish it was green uh, it's just not green enough for me it's kind of on the yellowish side but it may a lot of it has to do with my 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 uh, lighting but it is kinda gr it's kinda got a weird color to it and I've had to fix the grass a lot of times I I can go in and change you can change the color to whatever color grass but it does it takes a little bit of work to do it so, all right. Ah, wow. Awesome. Thanks, Poplar. Thanks for watching the pyramid video. Yeah, I just... Yeah, I've got a couple more. And if you're interested in learning about... Uh, if you're interested in learning about... Uh, of using uh, Ultra Scenery XT, I go kind of into some detail at the beginning of this. So, uh... I think you will like it, um, the uh, Ultra Scenery XT, because it took me a while to figure out um, 
how to how to get it to work because when I would put the uh, Ultra Scenery XT in, it would just like appear way up in the air and um, and you can't move Ultra Scenery XT. You have to uh, you have to learn to set the settings so that Ultra Scenery XT um, goes to the right altitude and all of that stuff. And so I think we uh, mastered it this with this uh, particular piece. Now I. I can open this a little more. I'm I'm rendering it this at ten thousand by uh, six thousand. So uh, it's um, but you can see we we got a nice. This is ultra scenery here, where they're underneath them. So it's an ultra scenery, and then in the background is ultra scenery XT. And so as I was mentioned as I mentioned earlier, I could have put them inside of a house with like a with uh you know bay windows and they could have been having tea and then this would have been a really nice backdrop here very realistic backdrop for um and what would have been nice is that i could have put it really bright outside but inside it could have been very intimate and kind of quiet so um with the tea and all so that's a possibility Well, awesome, Poplar. That's very awesome. I I need watches on my uh, on my uh, videos really bad. Um, right now, I've been working on this on 3D Daz 3D uh, stuff for well, I think almost four years, and I'm still not I'm still not getting paid uh, for you know I don't there's no ads or anything. So I'm doing this for out of the goodness of my big and beautiful heart. Uh, to take and show uh, people how how to um, how I, how to do some of this dad stuff you know I I don't claim to know know everything about it and and all but uh, I have been working on 3d with 3d since the beginning of 3d art uh, pretty close you know way back with pong you know playing pong I've been working with 3d art so uh, um so yeah, this is uh I think it came out nice. And so uh eventually this image will go for the uh preview of this uh preview image. So uh yeah, I will um I'll let you add it now um and uh thank you very much for watching my pyramid uh, video very 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 much I really appreciate that I, I you just brought back all those memories of working with her veil that was so you know getting the getting it so it wasn't so sheen so you could actually see through her veil <laughs> And uh, that was um, that was fun. That was and the, doing the uh, the the D force with her veil. So uh, yeah, that was a that was a fun uh, project right there. So yeah, uh, I think you'll enjoy this video as well because of the Ultra Scenery XT. Because um, I really do go into detail about. Uh, this how how uh, I don't go into every detail about it because there are a few, few were a few things like erosion and stuff that I wasn't sure how that worked, but I feel confident now that I can use Ultra Scenery XT um, and for uh, scenes like this when I want a really far away um, uh, scene scenery landscape when I want some trees that you know th hundreds of trees in the background and 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 nice uh nice rocks and stuff like this this is this is uh much nicer than um you know i think we could have ever asked for this artwork uh from the ultra scenery person is uh i'm i'm always 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 impressed by uh, uh, the ultra scenery um, and what we're able to do with this in Daz. So this looks so really, really... It's this little area. I'd like to go up there and just sit and and meditate right up in there. You know, it's it just looks so kind of... Right by the cougar den. So, <laughs> so these guys are having tea. Let's hope there isn't a cougar den too close by. 
So, all right, we're going to end it here. And my rose going through the table. Yeah, I I was just the best I could do. This is the Daz rose. We need Daz to give us an iray rose. One that would have like a flat side so we could lay it down, you know, um, and some would morph so that you could lay it on a table and it might morph. The leaves and all might morph up. That would be nice. Uh, a single rose with thorns, with or without. So, all right, very good. Ha take care, Poplar. Thank you very much for watching my videos, watching my stuff, and uh, enjoy, enjoy. And Angus, you are awesome, awesome, awesome. And Sigmund's going to say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> that was Sigmund. He's got to... He's got to be part of things. So, yeah. So, please um, like, subscribe, and thank you for the likes. Thank you very much. We got four likes tonight. So, all right. And it's been, uh, this has been a four and a half hour project. So, and I feel like this project, it progressed. It didn't, I didn't. I don't think I really wasted a lot of time in this and, and talking or doing anything. I believe it was just p packed full of, of some really good work stuff. Now everybody's coming in. So um, please watch my videos. There's more. Watch this video from the beginning. If this video um, doesn't, if you can't rewind this video because they may want to, because uh, this, is, this is in 4K. All right, so if um, when you go to rewind it, it may switch it to uh, to HD, okay? And so if you just give it a few hours, um, it will uh, it will um, they'll they'll uh, put it out in 4K, okay? So if it if you have problems accessing it, just go back to some of my other videos. Um, maybe if you work your way back. <laughs> Okay, from the from the beginning and work your way back is better than starting at the beginning and working your way up because uh, years ago I was just learning stuff and so uh, it's better to work your way back. Okay, um, so uh, it's not that there is things there are a few things that maybe I did wrong and there was certain things that I just didn't uh, when I first started out doing videos I didn't even know how to do shaders you know so uh, how to change the material on a uh, on a um, on an on a surface so there are things like that so all right that's gonna do it for me thank you very much for watching and have a lovely evening and may our world may our world please find um, uh, find themselves uh in in peace and uh security and and uh and in their own place you know and where they all uh where people belong in their own countries and stuff and uh not other people's so i have to say it because it's just the way i feel so all right much love Take care. Have a good night. Please leave comments. If you have anything that you have trouble uh, using, any, da any DAS product, I own 8,000 DAS products. And almost every one of them I have learned how to use uh, to some degree. I'm still working on some of them. Uh, like I would like to uh, learn more about... Um, part the particle one okay uh partis 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 or something but i can't think of it right now so i would like to learn more about that um so all right take care and uh thank you for watching awesome poplar and angus to have a good night and please check out watch my videos as much as you can all right and uh thank you uh that's very very helpful and I'm still a long ways away from uh, getting the 4,000 hours watch time hours that I need. So, yeah. So if you have any friends 